Maybe the least of which being how much you've missed us. And I think you missed us plenty. No, I, I, I am... I, I was looking for... I woke up this morning looking forward to all day. Just of let's course, go. Let's go. Because you go. were on land. Yes. Off of what I did not want to oversell before you left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But what I can only describe as the worst idea for a vacation ever in history. Yes, yes. When you kept saying you were going on it, and I'd yeah. say like this, you'd hear, you can go back and listen to the episodes. I'd go, wait, just like a cruise, like you're just going as like a guest, like a patron? And you're like, yeah, it was going. I go, hoo yeah. I go, but it's like a chartered thing. It's just like Caltas cruise. Like, no, just a cruise. Like, yeah. And there's but some famous band is on it, and it's going to be pretty awesome because you get to see this band on a small venue. Mm-hmm. No, no. Nope. No, just like a Sharon impersonator and a shitty comic. Not even. Not no even. comic. Uh, there was a comic. Who? Um, uh, I have his name somewhere. <laughs> Please tell me you remember the name. I, I do remember the name, and I have a video of Steven him. Steven Scott. No. Uh, his name, I think it was Josh Kent, or Kemp. Yeah. Uh, a Texas comic. Okay. Uh, this th- let me tell you something. First of all, this cruise that we went on was not a good cruise. It was. Um... Oh, let me guess. Was it any cruise possible you would take, except <laughs> for a chartered one with something you love? Buddy, I watched is... all your videos. You you made it seem like it was the place to be. Oh, of okay. course, he's I, an influencer. I, I, <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you think the... guys got to sell the dream? <laughs> yeah, dude. You, you're an influencer. You smile all the time. All the time. You ever see right. Fire Festival thing? Yeah. Those people are holding. Those people are uh, holding open their little trays of That's grilled right. cheese sandwiches, but their tits are hanging out. Like, yeah. Ah. yeah. Why don't I just look at me in the phone instead of the camera <laughs> lens when I talk? I look right at the lens like yeah. I'm talking to you. No, Bob. I felt like all Bobby's pictures and videos were him smoking a cigar, waiting for the sun to go down. Dude. Waiting for another day to go by. And he goes, "How many more of these?" <laughs> okay. It's not. It's oh, the not, buffet again! Uh, uh, awesome. The the crew. This was one of the. This is not a good cruise. This is not a good ship. What was the line? It was uh, celebrity, and it was oh, no wow. celebrities. Never heard of that? There was no celebrities whatsoever on this cruise. But you'll be treated like a celebrity. Well, apparently there's levels of ships, and ours was the lowest level, and it was, it was, dude. Oh, let me tell you something. It was old. Yeah. It was old. You were on the concierge level, though. So what does that mean? Nothing. Someone doesn't take a shower while you shit? <laughs> you get your own bathroom? The, the, concierge <laughs> meant not. You know what I got? I got a chocolate-covered strawberry. Okay. That is, I had a split with three people. I know. You can, say that, you can tell they've been laying around for a bit, those chocolate-covered strawberries. Dude, we, they, we got a couple delivered to those. They would give us little snacks every day. They gave us hummus. Who wants hummus as a snack in your room? That was sitting outside your door. <laughs> it was it was terrible. It was Do we the, need tissues in the room? I got one right here. This is no, a little, it's used. No, no, no. Nope. No, it was not used. Save it. it. It's wrinkled. Nope. Or everything's it's wrinkled. fine. Everything's fine because Lou's used. got Lou's got one for me right here. Everything's okay. fine, everybody. Right. Bobby, please put that away before I vomit. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's wrinkled. I bet it is. It, it, you saw me get it. This is this is a an encased one. This one would have been softer because I wrinkled it, by the way. That one's rough. You gripped it. I gripped it. I gripped it. Ugh. You have a lot of... This <laughs> is the sound of the paper. That is pretty awful. Dude, five seconds into this... First of all, Kalta, who I love, you know I love him. As soon as this thing set off and you felt that... And everybody does the thing like, oh, we're moving. We're moving. You yeah. were like, shit, it's happening. Yeah. You'd already looked around the boat and been like, this isn't going to be awesome. No, not at all. I was... I had full... I had full uh, intentions of having a blast and it being amazing but the thing is you cannot vacation with your family and you cannot yeah. vacation with other people's families and you can't vacation with four other families you're because correct. you're beholden to other people it's too much stuff yep my vacation is nothing my vacation is no plans do what i want I had to wake up. Where are we going for breakfast? Where are we going for lunch? What are we doing for dinner? What are we doing for... And the crew... Uh, And what time? Well, that's not the time I would do it, but everybody else seems to want to do it at that time. I'll tell you, that was one of the nice uh, things about the Burt Cruise I just did was I had, like, friends on there, but not, like, my daily, like, brother friends. So I did feel beholden to no one. So I was able to dip out at one point and go, I'm going to go watch this full Sixers game in my room. I was beholden to everybody. 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 
Yeah. And my wife had outfits. You know, women want to wear certain things. Oh, my God. So I it's do like, know that. You have to go to... The, well, going to this restaurant this night because she has this outfit, which is fine. Oh, this is... What, this is her Chinese outfit for Chinese food? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she wore kimono. <laughs> She's like, don't... I think kabuki makeup's like blackface. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Uh, honey, can you help me put she these has, chopsticks in my hair to hold a, them up? <laughs> she has the little red lips in the front of her lips. I had to wear a samurai sword. Uh, you dress like Jason Steinberg. <laughs> took, took four hours her to hop with those little feet bound in her shoes. <laughs> Dude. If we're going to the Brazilian steakhouse, everybody, shave your genital hair off. <laughs> um, it sounds like a nightmare. Eight, eight seconds into the trip, we're in line, <sighs> and Mike called, the, called this lady uh, the C word. There we go. <laughs> this lady, she was around 87, had so much work done, she didn't blink for five years. Well, at least her, you won't be around her nonstop for the next four days. <laughs> eyes wide open. Her husband, both eyes wide open. And she yelled at him because he kind of was catching up to us in the line. And yeah. she went, hey, hey. And he went, fuck you. I'm getting with my family. She goes, you're not supposed to come. He goes, you're a fi- C word. And then he points to her husband. Right away. He goes, hey, good luck with that. And then points to her face. Wow. Yeah. This is eight seconds into the line. And then you're behind them in line for a while. We're behind them in line for a little bit. <laughs> okay. That was uncomfortable. Definitely set uh, the, the thing. I'll tell you what. He made an impact on those people. That's not going to not be a thing for one more minute of that cruise Yeah, between them. And he made an impact on Max, too, which, you know, he saw his dad just take it and Mike Calta just give it to that lady. And then, yeah, yeah. once again, yeah. Uh, Max thinks you are soft and because you <laughs> want to hang out with sure. fucking aggressive, yeah. no-think maniacs. Yeah, exactly. So, we so get Lewis, a- I mean, not to uh, sidetrack here, but just so these guys have some context to this. There's a video somewhere. I don't know if Bobby's got it. But I have it. Do you have that one? I'm an influencer. It's it's I Lewis. You hear in the background, Lewis. I mean, dressing down and threatening to fight an entire staff of iFly. <laughs> and uh, he film. He goes over and films Lewis's son James, who's literally doing like the here we go again, like shaking his head, no face. Yeah. Bobby's making like the Jesus Christ, Lewis face. And Max is like, he's like, damn, dude, I wish that was my dad. Yeah. I turn Max into- is so into what Lewis is doing, just his, Lewis's take no shit, even if it's a misunderstanding attitude. <laughs> I turned into the mom when I'm at Lewis. I had to th- I take the kids under my wing and go, let's wait outside for your father. <laughs> let's let's just go wait in the car while your father deals I, with this. What did I say, Christine? I was like, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, don't, you, uh, Isabella was, uh, we were driving and she was talking about the, the carnival combat fights. Uh, I go, Lewis, they're really good. I go, he trains a bunch. He goes, why does uh, Lewis like always want to like fight so much? And I go, uh, I don't know. I go because he's got the fury of a thousand lions in him for some reason. It just he's always keeping at bay a little yeah. bit. So the, the Max, when he found out he had a card, he have your room key and you can just get whatever the fuck you want. I caught him at the cafe with seventeen eclairs and a coffee. <laughs> You caught him. <laughs> He's walking back with a, a a coffee, like a like a like, and a pyramid of eclairs. <laughs> and every, he goes, Dad, they got pistachio eclairs. I'm like, you can't just get, you can't just get whatever you want. He goes, No, you can. You, you can. You use your card. Oh, he's paying for it, dude. I, I I undid his bag today. He had eclairs in his bag. He was like storing them like a squirrel. unsealed <laughs> in a bag, loose. No, 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 no. He had snacks from the trip in his bag that he was just getting because he didn't understand that you, you know this is blows a kid's mind that you just go and get stuff and give a card give a card and you're in and then uh we had to go to dinner the first night and there, we were all supposed to sit together in this but you know he had his family and his wife's family and his you know his brother has a whole brood of people and his brother's just as big as him just a big italian and they fucked up so they sat me and don and max and with this family, that just we some other people. Was it hibachi? Hibachi dinner, but it, I, you I was, weren't in hibachi with your crew. <laughs> so, dude, I fucking, I told Don, I go, just I'll take the kids, I'll take uh, Max and Billy, this other kid, and we'll sit with them. The one of the most uncomfortable dinners I've ever had in my life. We just had to sit with these people after we were fighting with the people to Wait, get us with the other table. You and weren't it, the asshole. Were, were, were you the? 
hibachi jokes asshole because I've been that guy and I don't, I'll don't. leave. Mm. Don't make me the hibachi jokes. Dude, I was the one trying just to get this family to understand that it's not my fault that this is happening. There was the, And that you're interrupting their family. He was Southern. Time. There was sweet Southern Jesus people. And it was me, it's Max. Okay, yo. Max. Max has got sunglasses on, a hat sideways, his hair, hair his, dyed. His, his bleached hair coming down his face. And he's like, he goes to the, he's like, yo, can I get a, a cappuccino? I'm like, you can't get a cappuccino. A cappuccino? You can't get a cappuccino. <laughs> what? Dude, he went nuts. Wait, he's going to rehab? I don't I like he loved it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, this dude, he shut down. He the smoked pool. a cigar this weekend for sure. <laughs> dude, he shut down the pool. <laughs> How? Buddy. Took a dump in the pool? No, the last day. You had day, to break it up with a coat hanger and drain? The last day I'm there, I'm with the, the kids at the pool. That's another thing. You get stuck with the kids every once in a while. So you're the one, right? And I was the one a lot. Do you know I know how terrible this was? Yeah. Because you're jumping so fast. Like, you're already at the... And the last day, the fucking pool... Like you, yeah, There's still things from 25 minutes in that you were like, uh. Dude, me and Don broke up the first day. Yeah. <laughs> you, just said, you just said, we'll get through this, dude, and I, then we'll I used go the separate word, ways. I used the word separated. Really? <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. You told people you were separated. No, I told her. I go, maybe we should separate. We need I to mean, get separated. We, <laughs> dude, we got... Max, your parents are now separated. <laughs> <laughs> we got to fight the first day. It's not because of you, but it's a little bit because of you. We, we were up, we, we were up at the up at the buffet, and Max was just. I look. I you have to understand. He's losing his mind. He doesn't understand this. That you can just go up and get whatever the oh fuck. Oh my god! You want. He's like tuna fish, pasta, <laughs> cheeseburger ribs. It says all you can eat buffets on water. Yeah. That's all this a ship is. It's, for, is. it's, it's a buffet for on people. water. It's, it's for fat people. people. It's for fat. Fuck! It's fat people, and. Uh, the, if your old dream people. would be fat people with a gambling problem, it's fat people and old people and gambling. Yeah, it's 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 a bad it's a bad cruising is for it's a bad scene. If you're trying to be healthy in spiritually, mentally or physically, it's old it's Vegas. A, it's a bad scene. It's but you old, knew it's, that, it's the, Bobby. It's, Why would you want to go? Know like that. you know all you. I, this I, sounds like nothing you want to do. I did not know that. I didn't understand the taxing, you how taxing this was going to be on you me. You had a blast on the Joker's cruise. I had a blast because you could stay in your room and, and nobody... Our, and, our, and your buddies yeah. were there right. and it was... But no, you weren't again. You weren't beholden to like plans with everybody. It would be like, it hey, Bobby, terrible. we're going to go get dinner. You want to jump and get dinner? Oh, I can't. I'm doing this. I'll catch up with you guys later. And you we're go. sitting there with Max on the first day and he comes back to the thing with all this shit. And I'm like, Max, you can't. I'm trying to be a dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But Kalt is like this other dad. Dad, I just brought 17 feet of rope <laughs> chain from the duty free. <laughs> <laughs> He just had one spools. He, he, he almost got me to buy a Rolex. Dad, I just got a bull of a watch, and all I had to do was give him the room key. He almost got me to buy a Rolex. I bought art. The guy brings out this Rolex. He's like, hey, sir, I have the perfect watch for you. Did he call your son, sir? No, he, he Oh, he's doing it to you. Yeah, oh, okay. The, I, thought, guy, I thought every time you walk into a different place of the cruise, Max is doing something an adult only would do. He goes, let me take a look at the Rolex. He goes, oh, yes, sir, right away. Well, he brings me back in a day later. He goes, Dad, come here. I got to show you something. And he brings me into the watch store. And he goes, show him the watch again. And the guy's like, okay. And he brings the watch out. He goes, Dad, get this one. This is a good deal. I'm like, Max, not stop. I'm not buying a $6,000 watch in a boat. It's just not. He's like, Dad, it's a good deal. You got to get this. And the guy's like, sir, your son is smart. And, <laughs> and I was like, hey, buddy, don't, don't play my son again. It got tense. Who is this guy? The guy selling the fucking watches. And then I had to take Max out. I go, Max, you can't be on the guy's side. You have to be on my side. Your son bullies you. Let me tell you something. Bobby, I want to tell you this as a friend. You are not your father. You are a great father. Okay. Here's what he did. Stop too. letting your son bully you around your whole life. He came up behind me at one point. You're the only father I know whose son takes him aside for talks. Hey, Pop. He came up, I said I wanted this and you didn't get it. He came up behind me at one point. I really punished him. Second day in. He got a, he sat down for like two hours. Okay. He came. I was with the other counters. John, uh, Mike has a brother. John, same type of dude, big dude, right? Same type of family, big family. And I'm with them in the cafe. Max comes up behind me and pushes me in the back and goes, "Dad, where were you? I was texting you." And I almost hit him. Yeah. Like <laughs> I turned around and I went, "I'll be right back. I'm, I'll be right back." And I grabbed him. I go, "Let I go. Let's go." And I, I walked up 
three flights of stairs, no fucking elevator, because I didn't want to be around other people. I like that. And I walked him up the three stairs, and I put him in the room, and she's like, she's in the room, what's wrong? And I put him in the thing, I sit down. I took everything off him, his, his watch, his phone. I took, he had like a hat. His, I took everything that I ever gave him off you him. You I had? I took, <laughs> I, 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 took, I, took, I took everything off, and I, and I made him sit for two hours. Because I was so fucking furious that he actually came up and pushed me in the back. Yeah, he bullies you. And he, uh, <laughs> your boy bullies you. <laughs> you are a great father, Bobby. You're allowed to discipline Max. I can't hit him though. You don't have to hit him. I wanted to, Jay. Uh, no, no. Listen, I, I wanted get, to. Bobby, listen. Have you ever hit your daughter? You can't hit him. What? That's, have you hit your daughter? What kind of question is that? Give me a second to answer that. <laughs> How do you mean? I, yeah, I definitely. I smacked her on the ass before. For no, sure. I'm talking. Have you ever? Have you ever? <laughs> Last goon, week. Did you goon hand her? You have a goon hand her? What is that? Grab her behind the elbow and drag her somewhere. Yeah. Grinding your teeth. Yeah. No, that's what. When they called Child Protective Services on me, mm -hmm. that is what I actually did. They said I was dragging her on the ground and kicking her and punching her, which is batshit crazy. Right. Um, but that's what I did. Yeah, I got her uh, behind the elbow and I was like, "Let's go outside right now," because well, I was gonna. I, I grab Max from behind the elbow and goon hand him up the stairs because mm -hmm. he kept trying to. Did you? Dad, was the arm up? Arm was up. Okay. Arm was up. That's a good grab. And forward, up and forward. Okay. Up forward. So he's he's following his own arm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> he's following his arm. I felt terrible, dude. Don't <laughs> stop feeling terrible. <laughs> and no. then I got him. He in the wants room. that, Bobby. I know, dude, he called me sir. When we went up to the room, he went, yes, sir. I was yeah. like, Daddy this did. is too much. This He's too begging much. for it. Yeah. He's begging for the discipline. <laughs> Dude, it was too much. And then I bring him to the... You're not your father. I brought him to, <laughs> I brought him to the comic, and we're all sitting watching the comic. And, you know, dude, I'm I'm supporting this guy. He has to do a PG show. There's kids. There's 90-year-old people. There's people in larks. There's oxygen people. This poor comic's got to do a I, show. I'll, I will... I'll give him my weekly check if you tell me Max heckled the comic. Max just went, I'm out. This guy stinks. Okay. <laughs> I like that. He, fuck, he pushed his glasses back. And his shades. He had his shades on inside. Indoor yeah. shades. Oh, he had his shades on the whole weekend. <laughs> we were at Mike's house the first day, and Mike has a daughter the same age. And uh, she came out. He hasn't seen her in a year. So they've both grown. So she comes out. She's talking to him. He, I'm out by the pool. He leans in. He leans in. He pulls his shades down. He goes, Dad, Julian is fucking hot. And is it I, fucking hot? He said, fucking hot. Jesus. And I went, mm. I started laughing. I was yeah, like, of course. Maximus, you can't say fucking. You can't say fuck. He's like, dude, I know, Dad. I'm sorry, but she's hot. I was like, you can't. You can't. It's like a cousin. You can't. And, uh. Yeah, he's dude. gonna hit a stride. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he kept saying, "He goes, I need, I need a, a boat girl." I was like, "What's a boat girl?" He wanted girl, to... you fuck for the duration <laughs> of the boat ride. Classic, dude. It was crazy. Boat girl. It was, it was, ta it was. Listen, I, me and Mike can hang out the same way. <laughs> we both agreed. It was like fucking nuts. We're both exhausted oh, from yeah. this trip. It was exhausting. Never again. And you look over every five minutes with Mike, and he's sleeping in a chair. And Dawn. And Mike forgot a CPAP machine at the security at the boat, so his wife. So the boat get... started going faster on his exhales. <laughs> Dude, you go, you knew, I knew what, I knew what room he was in because you could walk by at like eleven o'clock his room and just hear, <laughs> like someone was flushing the toilet. Oh man, <laughs> oh, it was fun. It was crazy. It was it was. What bad. was uh, Dawn's take? Dawn loved it because Dawn had no expectations, and she hasn't had a vacation. You know what I mean? Since the summer, so she, she had to go to the pool. And, and I, look, I took over. Did you go a lot. to the pool there? I went to the pool. We went to the pool. We went to. I went to the shows. They had a rock what show. What do you do? Like, what's a daily? I don't understand what you. Every do morning, there. I would wake up and go down to the coffee shop to find Kalta sleeping in a chair, smoke a cigar, because his wife kicked him out of the room because he snores. Okay. <laughs> So I would go down and have coffee with so him. So he went on a cruise ship to go be a deck bum. Deck bum. Okay. <laughs> All right. He was a deck bum. And then I would go back up and get them, and we go to the buffet and order way too much food. I can't, my, my, my whole body's swollen from the shit food. It's all garbage food. Mm. And we'd have breakfast, and then we'd have to, when we go back to the room, and look, I want to go back to the room and sit on the balcony and just go to bed. I want to go take naps. I don't want to do shit, but I had to go do shit every day. We had to go do shit. We had to walk around. Max would not go into the kids. They had a kids club. Yeah. They had a kids club, but the his age was... Just little, the cutoff. Well, you walk in, and it's just a bunch of grubby kids with shit on their face, and boogers coming out of their nose. Yeah. He walked in, he goes, Dad, no. Nope. 
This ain't my jam. Get me to the rock show. <laughs> they don't have any burlesque on this bitch. I took him to the 13 and up. Then I'll be in my room. Get me a slice and bring it up. <laughs> we walked into the 13 and up kids, and I walked in, and the lady goes, how old, how old is he? And he goes, he's 13. He said, he's 13. Talk about himself in the third person. He goes, he's 13. And they go, okay, well, you can come in. And he walked in and saw all the kids stare. They look like zombies. Yeah. Just staring at each other. And he went, I'm good. I'll be back. I'm going to come back. And I'm like, what? He, goes, he promised him he'd come back. He's talking to the lady. He goes, I'll be back. I'm going to come back later. I'm That's nice. Be- so he made him think. He was like, it's not you guys. It is completely you guys. But don't think that. No, no, no. I, no, no. I just realized I forgot something, but I am coming back. Don't close because I'm coming back. He never went back. Of course he never, he never went, went back. back. You know, but that's nice. God. Uh, he never you hated this cruise and Max was the mayor of the Buddy, ship. Buddy, he Yeah, Max had was the mayor the, of the ship. It was all about him and Don. It had nothing to do with me. This was not my vacation. This was for them. I didn't, I You hear I Max's exhausted. voice. He goes, someone took a dump in the pool and everyone jumps out and then it's just he in there by himself. Well. <laughs> and then he goes, yeah, that was easy enough. The last the last day there. And I'm always the one that has to go in the pool, too. Dawn doesn't go in the pool. I'm Why? the one that has to she's She goes... Her African hair? Your father... Was- <laughs> yeah, her wig. Uh, <laughs> she didn't want to get her wig wet? I just have to go in. So I had to go in the pool all the fucking time. Right. And the last day, it was rough seas, so the waters were... It was... Yeah, I've seen that. It was kind of... Waves. S- waves. In the- and he loved it. Yeah. I fucking hated it. So I'm in the pool. The other two kids come down. Billy, John's kid, and uh, Juliana, Mike's kid... So I got to tap out. I get to tap out. I grabbed the cigar. Don went to the cafe to get a couple of iced cappuccinos, right? So I'm up on the top looking down, smoking my bat. The sun's coming down the last day. Everything's I, kind of all right. I'm finally it's doing, over. I'm doing what I want to do. I finally got like an hour just to chill. And I look down and nobody's in the pool. And then I look and I see Billy and Juliana walking out. And I'm, I'm looking for Max. I'm like, Max, I'm like, where's Max? Where the fuck's Max? And then I see them walking. Then I'll see Max running over to them, and they're looking for me. So I'm standing up like, hey. And then they see me, and Max comes up. I guess he opened his mouth. And Dad, swapped. before you freak out, she said you could breathe underwater. Okay, you're going to hear some crazy things about me in a second. <laughs> he swallowed like a gallon of old lady piss water, which is pretty much all a pool on a boat is. Oh, a cruise ship? Dude, it's fat piss. Buddy, you can smell so the much asparagus. Ketones. There's so much ketones in that. Dude, I actually saw an old woman come in and stand there and piss. And, and then look, get back out? Look at me in the eye and then get back out. <laughs> staring it's me happening. But she was staring, it's happening. She was staring me in the eyes like like I'm concentrating yeah. and go, to get the piss out going. right now. It's almost there it is. So Max swallowed all this water and it went in his throat and he threw up in the pool. Okay. So he threw up in the pool, on the side of the pool, and then walked out to where the fucking the deck is, and he just. Bleh. So then the other kids had to run because they were gonna throw up. Sure. So I looked down, and he's like, "Dad, I threw up," and I'm like, "Where?" And he's like, "Over there," and he's panicking. So I gotta get the guy, and I'm like, "My kid threw up, dude." Hazmat suits. They got has a dude in a hazmat suit. Literally comes out, hazmat bags with the bio fucking thing on the bag, gloving up, face mask. They netted the pool off last night. Everybody's by the pool. They shut it the fuck down. The whole pool shut it down and had to clean everything. Apparently, Max puked, just projectile vomited everywhere from the pool down the stairs, over to the deck where people were hanging out. Windows and the walls. How yeah. did he swallow so much water? Because they were apparently they were dragging him with the waves, and the wave came back, and he op- he opened his fucking mouth, and it just went down his stupid gullet. He was screaming, fuck. And- fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and he threw up and I, I got a video dude I'll, I'll send it to Lou it's they just shut the pool down for the last night nobody can swim in the, the pool the nice. idea that you wanted to leave and, and you can only go as far as as the as the railing is a, is a nightmare it's it look it, a, I would go on a cruise again first of all the cruise ship wasn't the best food wasn't good it wasn't the best it was like the lowest cruise ship that they got I would go on a better cruise a nicer oh, cruise know, ship Bobby it's the same thing it's the same thing. Well, you know what? We went to Bimini. It was nice. <clears throat> what was that? Where is it? That's like some stupid island. Uh, okay. But here's the thing, too. is It's not that far from America. It's not like you're... You're kind of just hanging out in the ocean. 
mm-hmm. like some nights. Like you're not really going anywhere. So you go like Bimini and, and the Bahamas, Nassau is like 20 minutes away from each other. And that we had a whole day at sea from mm-hmm. from Atlantis to um, to Bimini. So we just stayed in the boat in between these two islands that we could have got to in 20 minutes. They're just like prolonging your shit out in the ocean. But for all that effort, yeah. don't you think you could have just gotten done something nice from our good friend, Steven Singer? Uh, 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 listen up, Bobby. Steven Singer Jewelers has the number one gift this holiday. Real, natural, earth-born diamond stud earrings. And Steven has the most beautiful, best-value real diamond studs anywhere. Choose a great pair of Anita diamond stud earrings starting at just $298. Oh, so much cheaper than a cruise. So much cheaper than a cruise. I could have bought 17 of those. Yeah. Well, you buy two for Dawn and you buy one for Mass because he's a badass. Uh-huh. Uh, the Stevens Real Diamond Studs are flawless to the eye, near colorless, and they come with his famous full-value lifetime trade-in. You can trade up your diamond studs anytime. Your real, natural, earth-born diamonds are always worth what you paid at Steven Singer Jewelers. They also have the best guarantee in the business with a full 100-day, 100% no-hassle money-back guarantee. So don't wait to get the number one gift. Go right now to IHateStevenSinger.com and click on his Anita Diamond Stud earrings. Order with fast and free shipping, or you can go right to Steven Singer's Jeweler Showroom at the other corner of 8th and Walnut in Philly. Buy real diamonds from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers, that's I hate Steven Singer. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Ian just asked if Jordan could come in. I guess they're together. Ian and Jordan. Guys, you could talk. Yeah, yeah. What the yeah, fuck yeah. goes on in here, man? The yeah. freeze up in this place. Look, man, I've been away for six I days. Know, I don't man. know what happened. Nothing. <laughs> it ran flo- Maybe you intimidate the shit out of Jacob. I don't That's know. always I'm so weird. Saying. Remember uh, this gotta... argument? What's wrong with what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Ian yes, wants to come course. on with it? Yes. Uh, yes, they can commit, of I course. Well, okay. first of all, Ian, what are we going to say? No. Yeah, yeah, that's I what mean, I was thinking. I mean, look at it. It's hilarious. We can't. Uh, yeah. we, sh- we should say no. No. You we know, should Christine, set a precedent. Say no. Say no. Say no. Say no. 100% say no. <laughs> Just say no. It's making me so I'll uncomfortable, but I think no. we should say no. No, we need to, Listen to me. <laughs> I need to get back into the show. We have to send boundaries. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I do too, but I'm in I'm... cruise mode. <laughs> say no. Tell me he has to stay in the lobby. Say, it's either, say, tell him this. It's either her or him. Yeah. I'm going to say Bobby. She has no, to say Bobby. No, 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 no. Jay's in on this too. Oh. Jay's in on this too. Say, uh, you have to pick one. Either one or the other. Or, one or the other. Just, admit one. Yeah, admit one. It, one or the other. Just say that. Say, hey, we do, say, but let them know. We have plenty of room. Yes. For both. We, we have plenty of room and plenty of microphones, <laughs> but they have to pick one. <laughs> Can I just add? Yes. Like, I still cannot. Get over like if you just watched your Instagram, you you almost convinced me that that was a, that was the next vacation, and I've I did, swore and I would never go on one. I I would go on a cruise with us, like all of us, like a bonfire cruise would be awesome. Sure. But when you have too many people, like me and my, me and Mike's family would have been fine, but there was too many people. And there was too many different things happening. There's too much shit to do. I don't like to do shit when I go on vacation. I like to not do something. And if the kids, if the ship was better, the ship was garbage. Dude, we had Did you and uh, Dawn get to have sex while Max was off finding a boat, bitch? Dude, no. (laughs) We didn't have shit. We didn't do anything. I jerked off on a cruise. Really? I masturbated twice. Oh. No. Uh, I think no. I whacked off once on the cruise. Yeah, but I was with the woman I'm supposed to not whack off with. Me too. Oh. I sent her off to go whack off. I thought we were definitely going to have some sexy time. What? Not one second of sexy time. Did you had separate rooms for Max? or you were No, he slept there? in the room with us. Well, then that's tough. Yeah, it's tough. There was two beds? Yeah, you don't want to... <laughs> You don't want to bone it. You don't wake up. Kid. My Max gets sunglasses on his hat sideways. Daddy, not like that. You want to take control. Get her in doggy position. Dude, you're going Where's, so fast. Dad, Slow down. Work her up a little, pops. Dad, to use, the, the mayor. use the boat rhythm to help you out. I'll be at the arcade if anyone needs me. Okay, they didn't have a fucking arcade. He's scoping out some bitches. They kid did, zone. Dude, we went to the uh, show. They had Rock On show. And it was uh, all rock songs, like, you know, Journey and Bye-bye Josie. Bye-bye, Scott. No, but uh, the, the but I always was, wanted to be Stephen Scott. It was um, um, what you would call it, uh, you know, theatrical though. All just a bunch oh, of gay guys. Yeah, just it's don't the, uh... stop believe 
man, what? And their eyebrows would go up, and they were smiling the whole time, and their hands were all over the place. Yeah. Dude, I fucking loved it. Really? I would have chucked buffet food at it. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I, I don't like when they up. fussy up a, a hit. Uh, Did you like Rock of Ages? Dude, it was exactly that except the worst version of it. And, and it was, you loved it. Dude. For the worst reasons, though, like, I loved the drag show I went to, but yes. I hated it. But it was it's, great. It's because it sucks so bad. Yeah. It's so good. Yes. It's so good. They had a motorcycle come up. Oh, with the gayest guy on it, and everyone's uh, Freddie Mercury. Oh, uh, buddy, and they did, uh, they did Queen. Oh my God, did they Queen? It crazy up? little thing <laughs> called love. Oh my God, the guy, one guy though was fat. He must have been a replacement. You don't have to gay up that song. He's already gay. Crazy little thing called love. Yeah, yeah. He, the guy had uh, jeans on, but they didn't fit, mm -hmm. so he had to pull them up to his nipples. Okay. And put a belt on so he was separated his fat. Oh, nice. And he had a little flat ass. I was like, dude, there's no way he's comfortable in this outfit. The guy being, singing? Being a fat guy, knowing that there's certain things... You're you know not what I mean? supposed to wear, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to put your, your belt up over your belly button. No. And then a public defender? He tucked his shirt in. Oh. Oh. That was great. Fun ghoul. Fun ghoul. My fun ghoul. I loved it. I love gay shows like that. You're so happy you're back on land. I'm, I'm exhausted, though, though. It was very Was there taxing. a Starbucks on the boat? No. No <sighs> Starbucks, dude. They had a cafe. They had a, no, no Starbucks. What's a... What, what's the activities like? Uh, all right, you went to the pool. They had cornhole. They had one cornhole. Yeah, you were getting cornhole from the second you got on that thing. <laughs> they had one. They had one Thank cornhole you. thing on the pool deck. That was always taken. They had a basketball court with a basketball with a tumor in it. They oh had, yes, they also. By the way, they have what? they have basketball courts outside, yeah. but they also. And I understand the reason, but let's just not do a basketball court at all. They have netting over it. Yep. That is so low. You can't shoot a jump shot. Oh, they had no netting over there. Because you're going to hit netting. You had to be careful that the ball wasn't flying off the boat. Okay. Um, they had that, and they had um, they had a gym, um, which was... Gym was good. I went to the gym a couple times. It was nice. Did I you see a whale or anything? What's that? I watched your workout post for yeah, the gym. Yeah, gym, gym was good. Um, I went got a massage okay. the whole time. I mean, listen, massages... I just don't understand why it's not a thing at the end where they touch your penis it's just yeah. a natural evolution of a massage <laughs> i don't understand why it's a, you got a, a massage taboo. with no hand job yeah you can't do they graze you at least i mean she she was a little did you present no i didn't present i have uh, presented before but i didn't present but she oh. was doing she had a bamboo stick i got a bamboo massage what does that mean she canes you Basically, she what just... What kind of sick shit are you into, Bobby? <laughs> uh, but everything is like... Dude, it was like a, a $250 massage. It's like crazy expensive on a boat. No, like the whole thing, it's a... It's a yeah. It's a God. tourist hotel on the water. It's... Yeah. The buffet... The idea of the buffet... I said it's never been quality of food on a cruise ship. It's quantity. Some... You can eat yeah. nonstop, but... I mean, it's just the crazy. It's like two different things of pasta, ten. It's like not a great buffet. It's like a fine buffet. Some of them, some of them have a a great food, like a great like. Um, there's one probably Royal Caribbean, like highest levels are probably pretty great. Yeah, like celebrity, the upper ones, the newer boats mm -hmm. have great food. Like the buffet is amazing. We just happen to go on the boat. It's got that, TV like, dinners. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Like seven layers of paint on everything. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know just keep I mean? going over it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The that... bolts look like they're fake because they're so covered in paint. Yeah, there was a hole in the pool. <laughs> you're like, you is this I mean? a steel? Is this a steel nut and bolt or is it just a fake thing? It's so gray. Dude, the, the metal railing into the pool was worn out down to like, it was a hole in it from just people rubbing it. Oh. Just rubbing atoms off of it for hundreds of years. It was it was not the best boat. Not the, and, and they have art all over the place, which is boring. And they want you to buy it. Yeah. They want you to buy art. Who's buying a fucking painting? Oh, so they'll, they'll mail it to you. <clears throat> uh, by the way, I did like some of the art on the last cruise we went on. Christine no. said no. Is this the guy? Oh, is this Epic Rock? Yeah. No, this is not the right boat. Bobby was on Celebrity Cruise Line. Yeah, Celebrity oh. Cruise Line. Oh, no, it was worse than that. It was crazy. Huh? And it was, it was crazy. And the lady who runs it... The carnival's pretty bad. The lady who runs it looks like <laughs> Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. She Maybe had a, witch. a hunchback that was okay. fucking so interesting to watch. Her head was in the front, but her back was... You could put a plate on it. You okay. could stand on her back. Well, I don't mind that. And she was crazy British. looking. I mean, it was crazy. And she directed the show. 
she was the cruise director. She was the Julie. But she was English, and she smoked like seven packs a day her whole life. And she was. She like, hey, everyone, we're doing some kind hey, of contest every, Hello, now. everybody. We're going to do this now. I got one thing to say to you. I'm going right now, Jack Daniels. And she'd walk off. Like did little jokes do, like that. Did you do, uh, <laughs> did you gamble at all? I won 400 bucks. On? A slot machine. Yeah. What? Slot's not a fun game. Yeah, right? it's a hilarious game. Buffalo! What? At night you would go, where, where was, where's Max when you, you, it's, it's your time at night. I, what is, I how don't do you know make where, that time? I don't know where Max was most of the nights. He was roaming around with the other two kids. Well, here's the other thing, mm -hmm. too. Is that uh, you said? Calter's like an early to bed guy. Calter morning radio dude. Calter would go to bed. Yeah, per, he would gamble. They gambled thousands. Okay, but Him until what time? Till like eleven, and then he was gone. And then you're up for three more hours at least. I'm up for a few more, a couple more hours. Yeah. Do you take some time? You do a couple loops. Do you go smoke a cigar outside? I, I smoked a couple cigars outside, but the smoking section was garbage, too, because it was all cigarette smokers. Yeah. And it's all Vietnam vets and their wives. Yeah. With their hats. Like, I was in Vietnam hat. Yeah, USS something. <laughs> yeah, USS something, and which I love. You know, I love the veterans. I love them all. But you know, the one thing I know for sure you don't support is the troops. I support the fucking <laughs> You support troops. war, though. I, actually, I do not support war. I talked to Dave Smith, and he said otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> he said you support war and, and Hamas well, and well, Israel. Well, the smokers are weird people i love look i have no I, I i don't care about it but i wish they had a bigger smoking section because it was just like six seats and it was always just see that's kind of the other smokers. thing the other thing about that were, that were, the, the what they should they, have a cigar no, they had, bar they had a cigar bar in it they closed it the other reason all the ships closed great. all the cigar bars because the, of because fucking people they don't want smokers they don't want it they, they complain about it what's like, kind of cool about uh the chartered ones though and you know because you did the jokers one they actually don't enforce much of that there you can kind of smoke the, the jokers one had a cigar bar no, but I'm saying, but also, in. when you were outside, they really didn't give you too much shit about where you were smoking. Yeah, but like if you, when the Jokers had the cigar bar, I was there every day. I would just go there, yeah. light up a bat, and hang out with, like, Nate was there, Verzi. We'd go in there and smoke uh, late at night, just smoke bats. It was fucking awesome. I love the, that's what, then they told me there was a cigar bar on this boat, they which I would have been at at least twice a day, relaxing, doing it's something. Cool. But they You still lied. see the old signs, like, hanging. And like, yeah, they closed it down. Dude, what? Mike got into a fight the next night with the, the maitre d' at the restaurant because our tables still weren't together for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving dinner, they weren't together. So he was screaming at the guy. I got it on video. This guy started laughing at him. Did he start calling more people's wives cunts? No, he did it, but he, he uh, <laughs> exactly. He, uh, he actually said to the guy, he goes, uh, he said something to the guy, and the guy started laughing. Really? Like smiling, and he goes, "You think this is fucking funny?" And uh, and uh, he saw the camera. He goes, "No, no, no, no. <laughs> I do not think it's funny, sir. You misunderstood me." <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was a crazy cruise, man. I, I don't think I'd do so it did again. Did you sit together for Thanksgiving? What's that? No, I I sat. Me, Don, and Max sat alone. Really? And the stuffing was like uh, mush. <sighs> it was mush. Are they coming in? Did they make a choice? Well, he said that I told him what you said, and he said, "LOL, Jordan, Jordan can kick rocks." <laughs> Damn, that fast! He just wow. told Jordan to fuck right, right off. Now, now they can both come in, but yeah. we want to let them know. Yeah, at least they know where they stand. No, tell them to come in. Tell them both to come in now. We just wanted to know who he was as a person, what their relationship was. You should also reach out to Jordan and be like, Jordan, like we could have you come in, but we'll have to give Ian an excuse that he can't. So is that okay with you? <laughs> and if she goes, I mean, whatever. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I I went on Calder's cruise and I got a suite and that was awesome. You sure. had a suite on the Burke cruise, right? We ended up with one. Yeah, that's great. Uh, if I had if I had a, if I had room in the room yeah. to kind of be and hang out, I would have been fine. But the room, yeah, our room was small, like big by any stretch. Well, you have more people in it too with Max, but like uh, our room wasn't necessarily big. It was nice. Very nice room. Yeah, dude, I yeah. had a suite. Having a suite Backing on a cruise, I had a, I had a living room, I had a bar area. Dude, I had a balcony that you could go out on with lounge chairs. Yeah, but did you have a balcony on this one? Balcony, but two chairs. Yeah, so, yeah, it's all that's right. That's all we have. Yeah, but if I had a little, if I had a, if I did this again, which I would do again, why? <laughs> what? I can't imagine doing Who it describes it? a festival. I would Who describe. Just take Mike Calta on a cruise. You get booked on to do something. I, I would. He have a cruise. Huh? Yes, he, he does has have a cruise. One. Yeah. He does, <laughs> but I, I, here's why: because I my because my kid loved it so much. You know what I mean? Like he loved it. 
Yeah, he had a magic card that got him anything he yeah, wanted. Yeah, it was problematic, you know, it sounds really like, for think, everybody else in the cruise. I'd say that our friend Lewis is the expert on vacations, and he does seem to have something figured out with these, like, villas. Like, get a villa in Jamaica. There's a staff. Just live life there. You mean <laughs> Lewis J. Gomez? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he does have a thing with vacations. I mean, he's, <laughs> I mean, one thing for sure. We shit all over him for taking 800 vacations a year and bragging about it, but I will say this. He probably knows good vacations. Yeah, he knows. I mean, the guy knows, knows where to go. Yeah, he knows good vacations. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe next time we get a villa, I guess. You know, I would go to Bimini again. Nobody knows about the island. Nobody goes to it, and it's like like a like a very low key island with a cool, awesome beach. I go there, get a little house on that thing, rent a golf cart, maybe do that. Maybe I won't do a cruise again with the fam. No, no. <laughs> Never do one that you're not booked and paid money to be on. You should be making money on the boat. Yeah. It's crazy <laughs> to just go on a cruise. This is insane. Huh? You're still considering going back as insane. Well, because- oh, Max had a fun time. He could take him to a mall and then terrorize people there. Same thing. <laughs> you can have fun on land. I got to apologize to Dawn. I forgot that. To- <laughs> I separated with her. I said some si- shit the first day. I just was. T- traveling with your family, the f- getting to the airport, getting on the plane, getting to the place, getting to the boat, all that shit's too much for me. I get stressed out enough. Me and Isabella. My- myself, then to have to deal with it. And then when your kid's fucking up and doing weird, crazy kid shit, yeah. which he's supposed to do, he's 10, I, I kind of failed at one point, which I feel bad about. I flew with Isabella for the first time, like a year ago, the first time I've ever flown with her. Yeah, I refused when she was a kid, and her mom's like, "I'm going to take her to here." I'm like, "Have fun with that, no way." Yeah, it's stressful. Yeah, I'm like, it'll be a nightmare. It's stressful. Even on the plane home, uh, the plane got delayed, delayed yesterday. It was so bad, and then we finally got on the plane, and Max, <laughs> something happened, and he was panicking, he just panicking, and I'm doing a seatbelt, and I went, I had to go, Maximus. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, because I don't want to, I want to, I don't, you know, I was like, you got to put your fucking, I go, you got to chill. And I hate that because I panic on a, I have anxiety when I fly. Yeah. When I travel, I have terrible anxiety. And that's why I join every club and I do the, la- so I can stay, I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to touch yeah. people. I don't want people fucking, because I told you, I have two gears. I have first and sixth. I can either be cool or I'm going to fucking murder you. And I don't have the ability to deal with these people. I, I don't have, like the person that cut, the lady that was yelling, I'll just ignore her because I'm right. either going to beat her husband up or I'm just going to take it. There's no middle gear, gear with me. And when, when I fly out with my family, I'm so protective of them. If anybody fucks with them, I get fucking angry. Like, Matt, we, you know the seats in the airport? We kept He kept sitting down and popping down. And the old lady next to him, every time he sat down because he's such a big kid, she'd pop up like three inches. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept doing it like night, and she looked at me every time. Finally, I went, Max, can you sit down better? Because this lady is flipping, just staring at me like she fucking hates me every time. And I'm just looking at her, and I'm about to tell her to go fuck off. But it's like I can't, I can't. He goes, I don't Dad, think- I don't need this. I'm gonna go rip a shit in the bathroom. <laughs> Hold my sunglasses. Oh, that's, another, <laughs> that's another thing, dude. You sh- I don't like me. I don't know that Don poops. I don't want to know that she poops. You know now. I know now, dude. My God. Yeah. I mean, flush twice. I mean, oh, I don't want to see God. the whatever the. I don't. Oh man, I went in one time and I went, "Who was this?" And oh, it God. and it, it was. Her- Oh, buddy. It was Jay, bad. You dude. accused me of that on the cruise. You were like, Christine, you got to clean. I was like, I didn't go to the bathroom in this room at all. <laughs> oh, so she that crushed was one the me. other day. It's the worst. I don't this like morning I don't was pre- it. This morning was pretty funny. When I go into the bathroom uh, to take my morning shit, yeah. <laughs> this, this really makes me laugh. I usually turn on uh, Howard Stern. And that's also, I'm a, and I'm also across the apartment. Uh, I'm like in the bathroom in the in the living room. Not the one in the bedroom. And Christine's right. in the bedroom with the door open, uh, with the dog laying in bed. And we got a, a text, a duo text today from someone we've hooked up with before that goes, hey, I'm like getting back with my boyfriend, so I'm not going to be able to hook up anymore. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And then I just hear Christine. And they go, well, it's just me and Christine now. And you just hear Christine. Purr, purr. <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> so I was like, hey, no more sex for you. Oh, also, 
<laughs> Such funny timing. Uh, that really girl, made me laugh. Girl fights are the fucking funniest things oh. ever. Well, because what it is, they're holding them in so long that when they think they have a free moment, they give, they let it all out. But it's also their asshole just giving up in the middle of the night. Just oh, the middle of the night ones. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christine really fucking blows some trombone. Yeah, some I, French I, horn at night. I would definitely go. I would go on another one. I think with. A better ship, like a big, or those big fucking tower ships. I would just say, don't Jesus. ever do it ever again. Do you mean a yacht? Yeah, you no. want to go. I'm talking, <laughs> you know the ones where they, like, they have the indoor, like, mall, and, you know, the rooms are all fucking with brand new. People? and Bobby. Why? The they do whole have a, thing sucks. With, with younger people, this cruise was old. I know, but you have to, if you want a young, then you have to go on an EDM cruise with your family. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> I mean, the pool will be a lot more exciting. It's going to be thongs and fucking all kinds of shit. No, I want to go on the the. Uh, How about a Ritz Carlton yacht? No, I don't want a yacht. I want. I, I need space. I needed more space. Well, I needed more places to go. Like I want to go on the uh, the what's celebrity. What's the Royal Caribbean biggest one? I want to go on the celebrity, <laughs> the the big celebrity one, the one up from mine. Like it's a the huge boat. The, the what? Allure of the Seas the is the biggest that, Royal Caribbean. That's movie. what I want to go well, No, that's the Royal Caribbean. The I celebrity, be beyond. Yeah, celebrity Beyond is the one here. Let's take a look at the Beyond. I, I would do the Beyond. The Beyond looks good. It's huge. It's Let's massive. take a look at the Beyond. What do yes. you want to do that you didn't get, get away to do? from my family for a few hours? <laughs> like, do you a... do see it when you bring your family on? You're like, I fully understand. Like, one push over very low railings, I will say, for yeah. how, uh, yeah. what a short. Like line between you and certain death. Yeah, I will say it's pretty impressive that you did not. Uh, all those people you went yeah. with that no one killed a family. Look member. at that. Looks good. No. Beyond looks good. Bobby, they're all the same shit. Yeah, but all that looks fun, dude. Well, Christine, they're all the same. They're all the same. No, we we did go on one. The first one we ever went on was horrible. Like the food, I the food was so disgusting. It was you could eat the the pizza was edible and the fries were edible if you put salt on the them. food was wretched. Yeah, it the was salt really like this MSC was cruise, awful, awful, awful. MSC cruise lines, but oh, Norwegian and Carnival have both been like they're just comparable and totally fine. I would go on the the big one. I would want to go on the big one. That Beyond looks all right. But I like what, the food. Better allure, on the allure. What's the allure? That's the one with the mall. I would go That's on Royal that Royal Caribbean. One. I would go on that one. That one seems fun. Well, Christine, hit things like things to do on this. I want to see. I want one where you could send your kid off all day and just go have fun with other kids, and they take care of them. It's at the bottom. Things to do. Nope. Why can't I see it? I don't know. Oh, here. I didn't even see that line. What, what is thing. dinner like, Bobby? Is it buffet also? You no. Just, oh, is we, that a it's the buffet no, food. No, no. They bring in the no. buffet food. Do you want a plate? I swear to God. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. I, they do. There's a, din there's a dining room that you go to that, you're, that you have your table, and that's where you go every night. You can go there every night. An assigned and table. You have a, they come over with a menu, and you can have as many meals as you want. You can yep. have three main courses. You can have 15 appetites, whatever you want. Yep. They just bring it over to you. It's smaller portions. It's not that big, but they're it's still- small portions. They're, they're big shitty. enough. They're big enough. You know what I mean? I have a baby stomach. You we, can order 15 of them, though. You can order 15. You can get 11 uh, lobster tails, but I don't, these, like, these lobsters look like hermit crabs. But then, <laughs> then you can- <laughs> then, you did get no. 11 lobster tails one the, time. The lobster tail is shrimp. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a shrimp. Really is. It's a shrimp. It's an opened up shrimp. I'm telling you, we got 11 of them. It's, it's a shrimp. It's fucking nuts. It's so stupid. Yeah. The lobster tail is- Fucking it's got to be an international. That's why you got to be in international waters. It's got to be a crime to kill a, a, a lobster not, this tiny. That's exactly oh, what it can't. is. You can't possibly pull a lobster that small. Yeah. There's no I don't way. know where no. they're getting these no, baby lobsters. They're not. From. Ma they're not Maine lobsters because in Maine it's illegal to bring a lobster that small out of the water. Of course, it would have to yeah, be. Yeah. These are baby lobsters. Yeah. This is a veal. Yeah, guaranteed. These are veal lobsters. <laughs> yeah, it's so small. <laughs> it's terrible, and you can't even. I felt bad because Mike so Bobby, and his brother, and pretty guys, much. they went to the buffet after lobster night one night. Of course, they went to the buffet. To finish up. By the way, Bobby, so much so far here is a bigger chandelier and an elephant statue seems to be the only difference. No, I think they have more fun shit to do with the Wait, kids. Let's see what the entertainment is. I want to see. Click that. Dude, now featuring Bobby Kelly. Oh, I felt so bad for the Should comic. Should we watch the video? No. We'll see. Let's see what they're That looks show. great. Look at that. That looks fun. Here we go. Theater shows on Beyond. Go down. Elements, a journey through five elements utilizing state-of-the-art technology, mesmerizing visuals, and acrobatic performances. Oh. Man. 
<sighs> stage door is an exclusive backstage pass into the heart of the biggest Broadway and West End musicals. <laughs> I'm in. Uh, I love it. Kill me. I love art it. immerses audiences in uh, iconic works of art in a groundbreaking masterpiece that combines electrifying dance <laughs> Acrobatics. And, oh I'm my in. God! This is, is this Rosie O'Donnell's cruise? I'm in the a club, jazz club. A jazz club that Ooh, sucks. I like that. I love a little jazz. The jazz joint. Two jazz clubs. <laughs> yeah. Keep Boom. going. Come on, brother. Eden. Let's play. Is this, oh, is this, this swingers? This sucks. Bobby. <laughs> what? Let's take Dawn and Christine on a swingers cruise, but we won't tell them it's a swingers cruise. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell fine. Dawn. I mean, Christine will know. Yeah. But don't tell Dawn it's a swingers cruise. I'm and, fine. You go on, and you just go, oh my God, this is a swingers cruise? That's crazy. I didn't even know yeah, that. I'd love to see you getting porked by an uncut Filipino waiter. <laughs> 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 Uncut. That's uh, another thing too. The waiters on this, they weren't like I like the Philippine. Uh, how do I say this? I don't want to sound racist, but some of the crews are mostly Filipino waiters and stuff. Yeah, this was mostly Indian dudes. So they smelled worse. No, 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 no. <laughs> but we see you trying to say it nice. They weren't. They weren't as like they're not as like Filipino. They're not as dudes nice smiling. smelling. They were yeah. smiling and hey, hello, and they sang and danced. This one, they were like, they would throw you plate yes. in front of you. Clean yourself before you eat, pig. <laughs> Did we say that how one night we were at the buffet and our crew was just yes. doing like a top 40 rundown yes. sing along? Yes, love the, it. But it wasn't like no, part I of the thrown, boat. I, I would have thrown pastries at him if I could have. I feel like they should have been like spoken to by their manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First of crazy. all, these little ding-dongs are down, these little ding-dongs are down there singing uh, eight-year-old pop songs. I, so I, actually, I actually asked the waiter one night. I was like, "Hey, can I get the risotto with the steak?" He goes, "I guess." What? Like, what the fuck did you just say, sir? I'm like, gonna bring this table over here. Seventy-five lobster tails. <laughs> 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 they, but they, the oh, can you go to the town? <laughs> I thought I was eating seahorses. Yeah, look <laughs> Things at that. Were so small. Look at that boat. The allure. <laughs> you, you wouldn't go on that boat? Come on, dude. Look at that. Is this Royal Caribbean? That's a. That's, I want to see what the entertainment is. The allure, dude. Look at they got all kinds of uh, awards. Show me the entertainment. <laughs> they got dude. They got a yes. Ferris wheel. Best large Look cruise ship. Dude, zip line. They have an ice, ice skating, skating rink. Come on, cool. dude. They have an ice skating rink. They have a zip line. I don't know how to ice skate. <laughs> you learn. They got a rock climbing. I don't wall. know how to rock climb. Dude, you they got ice skate on rock climbing. Kind of climb. Oh, is there a high dive? There's, there's. Look, okay, they got a kid. Wow, dance, oh, sexy wait. dancing children. They got a wave. <laughs> a, they got a surfing thing. I mean, that looks like the ship. It to go. wasn't that. It didn't look that good. You're out of your mind. That Bobby, you want to like go to nightclubs? You're super into going to nightclubs and dancing the night away. I did dance a couple times. No, you didn't. I did. Did Don go? No. Dad. You went and danced alone for a bit. I, oh, God. Bobby, that sounds crazy. Oh. I danced. There was one room that I walked into. And you danced a bit. I just danced a little bit. <laughs> now, did you dance or did you bob your head? Yourself? Nah, I danced a you little. You went and danced alone like a lunatic, spinning I... your arms out like a crazy person? It was, oh, it was this. Step aside, everybody. I'm taking over. It yeah. was this. It was me and around 13 old people. Oh. <laughs> Grandma, give me some space. <laughs> I'm about to do it. It was uh, it was not fun, dude. I mean, it was not bad. I was happy that they were happy. Dawn had a good time. Caltas had a miserable time. They're cru they cruise all the time, and they said this is the worst cruise ship they've ever been on. It's nice to hear when you leave a vacation with somebody. Yeah. I had a miserable time. I'll see you soon. <laughs> um, can you go? I want to see what the entertainment is on the Allure, please. What's the, you should see the entertainment on the celebrity ship I was on. That's what we did. Oh, the one you were on. Well, the one I was on, you should see that. I do want to see that also. The, the background on that. The Allure has a Coliseum. It just said rock on in the back. <laughs> <laughs> just like written. It was just, Some pen. It was so bad. One Lou just sent me. I'm going to look up. What was the one I was on? I forget what I was on. Uh, celebrity something. <laughs> I will never go on a cruise. I you were on the slow. Now yeah. I'm sure. You were on the celebrity. I, right. I think you were on the celebrity Amistad. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be finished. <laughs> Bobby, check this one out. Thank you, Jacob. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Icon of the sea, dude. Look at that. A basketball court's nice. Dude, they got a water park. I mean, that I'd go on that in two seconds. Come on. Okay. That looks fun. All right. I do what that. What is the entertainment? <laughs> I don't think they I don't think it. public yeah. pools are fun. Dude, public, yeah, but they have a water slide on the thing. That Can looks I tell you crazy. Something? Yes. One time, everybody got off the boat, and me and Christine stayed on the boat, and we went on the water slide. We had it ourselves for a while. I went down it four times, 
and the marks it left on my back. You can't go down a water slide a bunch of times. Yeah, we just went over it and over. It dings you up. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Because you know, because they, they, you know, they're built in sections. Yeah. So eventually, you start like over time, you start you feel like that ding ding ding, like every couple of, like <laughs> inches, and it's like you get up and it feels like you got whipped. It's crazy. Listen, I'm not saying this. I don't mean to be mean, but it's you know that's not the water slide's fault. It's the water slide's fault, Bobby. <laughs> that's a, that's smooth the insides down. <laughs> that's you. That's you stressing the, the physics of the water slide out. <laughs> if I could fit in the tube, it yeah. should not hurt me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're actually you're making the rivets come apart <laughs> in between sections. <laughs> I've been in there, dude. They would only let me go on when everybody else was off the boat. Dude, <laughs> told, it's too dangerous. Dude, I was in a water slide. I told you this. I didn't. There wasn't enough water to push me to the end. Yeah. I stopped 15 feet oh. from the end and then i heard the dude on the walkie talkie say we gotta get the rope to pull him uh, what do you want we're gonna get the rope you have to be lassoed out of a I water slide let it happen i dolphined out i i like a salmon up river i i just i, I did this yeah. for 15 feet i hurt my back and i slid out into the water and people like were like concerned max was going where's my dad and i was like i'm all right max in the oh tube oh my god you hear my my tube voice max, max i'm all right I'm going to, I'm going to, like a salmon, Max, I'm going to come out now. Dad, you're embarrassing me into this fucking hot chick. I told you I shouldn't have done this. Tell your mom we're getting a divorce. <laughs> we're separated, tell her. <laughs> I can't believe I said that to her. Doug and Bingo broke up on the cruise we were on. And they just yeah, telling everybody they Hooked up with every up. other people. They went all for it. Dude, I was, I lose, I mean, the word separated, maybe... Maybe she was. She went. What? <laughs> We're not together right now. We uh, we are of course we live together. We have to sort a lot of things She's out. Getting out of your mind. Like, what? <laughs> fucking, what are you going? You fucking tub of shit. <laughs> you lost a little weight. You didn't lose that much. We've been together for thirty years. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, I know you're gallivanting around your uh, Bobby of the high seas now, but we have a schedule to keep here, and we have yes. to take breaks. Yeah, but you know what I did though. I uh, I made a rookie mistake, Jay. Ooh. I made a rookie mistake. Life is full of little challenges, but it's also full of rewards. Trying to keep your kids entertained on a boat? <laughs> that could be a challenging. Maybe you might get divorced, <laughs> right? Well... You thought packing a couple video games and throwing them in the kids' club might work, but it didn't. It was a rookie mistake on my part. Save your sanity on a cruise with a Snickers, a special treat for good behavior. Let's say you finally got that challenging project done at work and you're feeling pretty proud about yourself and thinking, you know what? I deserve a treat. Maybe a cookie or a fancy latte. But your son has them all because he bought all the lattes from the coffee shop. <laughs> That's just another rookie mistake. Nothing satisfies quite like a Snickers. <laughs> now it's game day. Bringing 17 -18. Claire's home on your backpack from a cruise ship? <laughs> Rookie mistake. All you needed was a Snickers. Now it's game day. You think you're going to watch the games on the cruise, but they don't have it on the TV. They have no football at all on this cruise because the average age is 67 and up. And you can only smoke in a gross area with a bunch of dying people. It's a rookie mistake. Sometimes all it takes is a Snickers bar to come back from life's little challenges. Rookie mistake. Maybe you just need a Snickers. Snickers, the official chocolate bar sponsor of the NFL. Check out Snickers.com slash NFL to learn more. Ooh, uh, uh, oh, it's time to get real, everybody. Listen up. It's Steven Singer Jewelers, and he has the number one gift this holiday. It's those real natural earthborn diamond stud earrings, everyone. And he's got the most beautiful, best value real diamond studs anywhere. You choose a great pair of Anita diamond stud earrings starting at just $298. That's again, they're Anita diamond stud earrings. I talk too fast. Stevens, oh, you found it. You're doing great. Stevens' real diamond studs are flawless to the eye, near colorless, and they come with his famous full value lifetime trade in, which means you can trade him in at any time and get exactly what you paid uh, at Steven Singer Jewelers. He also has the best guarantee in the biz with a full 100 day, 100% no hassle money back guarantee. Don't wait. Get the number one gift right now by going to IHateStevenSinger.com and clicking on his Anita diamond stud earrings. Order with fast and free shipping, or you can go right to the showroom, Steven Singer's showroom on the other corner of 8th and Walnut. Buy a real diamonds from a real jeweler, a jeweler that you can trust, Steven Singer Jewelers. That's I Hate Steven Singer. We'll be back. It's the bonfire. It's Jim.
Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. I don't think Titanic sucked. It was horrible. I did get caught crying at it recently, which was... He look, simply... The old bitch was hateable, throwing all that money into the O. She's hateable. You shouldn't be crying at that movie uh, in this millennium. I totally agree. <laughs> Something's happening to you with the turbulence and the emotions. I, I'm, a woman, I'm a woman. I'm a menopausal fucking blubber-sided woman. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Weekdays at 8 a.m. Eastern, or listen anytime with the Sirius XM app. Flow from your first heartbreak to your glow up. From low rise jeans to high rise dreams. Well, like 2000s RB hits. Sirius XM's new channel, The Flow. Now on Channel 48 and in the SiriusXM app. Included in all trials and popular plans. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine feeling at peace during the holidays. Sounds nice, right? Well, it's not impossible. Let's face it, this time of year is a lot. Maybe you're looking forward to the holidays, or maybe you struggle with seasonal depression. It's natural to feel some anxiety, that's what makes it the perfect moment to bring something positive into your life. Maybe it's a boundary you've been meaning to set, a new self-care routine, or support from a therapist. Therapy can give you the tools to find your peace in the chaos so you can take that deep breath. BetterHelp makes it easy to get started. It's flexible and convenient. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a licensed therapist. Talk by chat, phone, or video, and switch therapists anytime. Give yourself something to look forward to with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash radio today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash radio. I was afraid to cut the cord, but once I did, I couldn't believe it took so long to do it. Paying too much for my cable bill had become a bad habit. I either wasn't getting what I wanted or never knew where to find any of my shows until it was too late. Plus, the prices just kept going up. Thankfully, I discovered a new way to watch called Philo. For just $25 a month, I can catch all my favorite shows on networks like BET, MTV, and TLC. It even has Nickelodeon for my kids. And I can watch anytime I want, anywhere I want. Plus, Philo lets me have up to three streams at once, so everyone can watch what they want at the same time. Throw in the unlimited DVR that saves all of my favorites for up to a year, and this really is the best deal in TV. I just wish I hadn't waited so long. Sound too good to be true? Well, try it out for yourself, and you'll see why people who love TV love Philo. Go to philo.tv. That's P-H-I-L-O dot TV to start your seven-day free trial now. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to know? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes isn't long. Nope, and they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make it fun and engaging, so you don't realize you're learning a language, but you are. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. You can choose from topics like travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you speaking right away. In three weeks, you're able to start having conversations. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are designed by language experts and voiced by real native speakers, you'll get the accents just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's, it's perfect. perfect. And now, try Babbel free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. What's going on? This is the Puerto Rican Rattlesnake, real ass dude, king of things, the ultimate minority, and the absolute best guest ever for the bonfire, Sirius XM Faction 103 with Robert Kelly. Oh, and Big J Overson. <laughs> 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 And then Bobby went to go see Gay Acrobatics. It was fantastic. Where Where is she? Broadway show to. Where's your partner? Jordan? Yeah. Well, like I say in the mirror every day, 
I am enough. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here. <laughs> I thought she was here. No, she was going to come, but then uh, it. she ended up staying in my apartment and they got fucking takeout. Because we recorded right before this. I thought she was coming. We were joking, right? No. <laughs> joking about what? When we, made, when we said you, you had to, to make choose a choice. one or the other. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Well, I chose. Uh, <laughs> no, no. She uh, she decided not to come. But Before that? Lou, let it play and give it something. What is We're this? listening. You can put the headphones on. You can hear it. It's the story of Bobby's cruise vacation he just took. <laughs> Kelt and his brothers were gambling all night, but Bobby has to stay away from vices. <laughs> I did. I couldn't even have food. He played some slots and then smoked his stupid cigars. <laughs> I couldn't even smoke my cigar. Just when he thought he was having some fun, his son yacked all over the public pool. <laughs> no. Shut they it down. cleaned it all out and everyone knew it was you. Then he stole something from Duty Free. <laughs> the Wait. second they got on the cruise, Calta starts a fight with an old lady who's got cat face. It was a nutty situation. What cruise was this? They just went on, right? That's what you're thinking. What chartered cruise were you booked on, Bobby, that you went and made some money? I went on a vacation he just cruise. With went my on a cruise. Family and f- my family. This wasn't a gig? No. Why would you go on a boat with strangers if you're not getting paid? It wasn't strangers. It was my friend, Mike Calta, and his family. And but, just you guys. Well, and my family. And his and family. hundreds of other people. Hundreds. Thousands. Thousands. What? Thousands of other people. And also, uh, they went, as he says, he went with his family and Calta and his brothers and their families. Really, it was just Bobby and his family because Calta would give a little, he would put on a little show and every, rest- every restaurant they seemed to go to, it seemed like Bobby and his family had to eat away from everybody else. And then Calta would go, oh, this is a travesty. Bobby, I swear, we're going to work this out for the next restaurant. You know, let's not make a scene right now. We just got here. And, like, you sit over there with your family. They, they sat by themselves on Thanksgiving and every meal they went to. What? Then why'd you go? <coughs> I went to relax. Doesn't sound relaxing at all. Ian no. just brings up the best point, and I never. This is what a cruise ship is. Yeah, you're you paid to yeah. be around crowds. Yeah, you paid to be around a, a crowd of people for a week. Well, it's cr- it's basically when we go to Aruba, right? We don't really. We usually go on vacations where I'm working, like Aruba. I'm working. Uh-huh. You know, we don't. We don't. We haven't been on a vacation where I. Ju- I just wanted to take time off. I didn't want to talk into a microphone. And they said, I go didn't want to work. I didn't want to do. I didn't want to <clears throat> make, be funny. I just wanted to go and be a regular Joe and enjoy my life and just you and know get off the boat super slowly with behind everybody else <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. wait in line with uh-huh. masses and pay people. for every single water you want and pay uh-huh. for every single soda you have to get. I yeah. did. Get get behind on the way out i had to go back up i was telling jay just before we exited the boat max goes where's my watch she left it in the safe right when we're leaving the room i go did you check everything she goes i checked everywhere everywhere like fuck you yeah. stop asking me because i'm a maniac when i leave a room i check everything every room i ever stay in i'm just because i've i've lost a lot of stuff i forgot stuff. i go where it's in the safe i go did you check the safe she goes that wasn't my section I go, what the fuck does that mean? Working at a restaurant? I go, what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean your section? You, I, no, said, I did, did, I did, did all you, my side work. I'm in the weeds. <laughs> I said, yeah. did you check the room? Yes, I checked everything. You even yelled at me when I asked you, like, how dare you ask me? And all of a sudden, the safe was my section. I had to go all the way back up, go to the safe. Room key didn't work. Had to get of the course. dude. He had to go in, then get the... And you have uh, to prove to him it was your room. Yeah, and with blowjobs. Whereas, whereas if you were just a comic working, they'd have known, and they'd have let you go on through. They'd have, somebody else would have went to your room for you <laughs> yeah, and got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We'll grab that for uh-huh. you. Uh-huh. It was. Oh it my was, God! You were working on this cruise, yeah, uh, as a comic, and your iPad was left behind. Let us get that for yeah. you. We will ship oh, that to yeah. you immediately. Mr. Kelly, that's we're another, so sorry. That's right now, thing. you're just some jerk off who yeah. was on the boat. Yeah. Don's iPad. <laughs> yeah, she left, a, she, a lot of guys' kids' watches are on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> she left her iPad on the boat. So I've been watching it all day. Tour the Bahamas. Yeah, it's it's by Cuba. 
Nice. Last time I saw her iPad, Wait, it was so by you Cuba. left a watch and cigars. an iPad? I got the watches. I went back up and got the watches. But you still left an iPad. She, I didn't know about the iPad till today. She goes, Where I can't did she fi- leave it? I can't find my Not iPad. in her section, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> She's mixing sections? She's mixing sections now. <laughs> mixing fucking sections? I go, I go, go on your phone and go to find my iPad. It's on there. She goes... She goes, I don't know. I go, do you leave it on the boat? She goes, no, I didn't leave it on the boat. I don't think I brought it on the boat. And then I, 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 I put it on, and it's literally taking the same route we just took. It's on the fucking boat. Oh, it's on the boat, all right. It's on the boat. She left it on the boat. And now it probably is a swingers cruise. She's just getting covered in cum. <laughs> oh, God. Having such a better time than Bobby had. So much of a better time. <laughs> that iPad's enjoying itself. I didn't, I didn't realize. I said we should bring, we should bring Dawn. And Bobby and uh, I'll bring Christine and we'll just go on a swingers cruise, but don't tell Dawn till we're there. Yeah. And then she'll wonder why a bunch of girls are coming up and touching her shoulders a lot. Just, oh, my God. What the fuck is this shit, a bat? Why is everyone wearing <laughs> pineapples? What, what, what kind of accent did you just get? A bat. I don't so know. Did you I'm have, not good at accents. That was, that was a Philly. Neither one of us are. Dan Soto will be in with us on Monday. He'll do voices for Is he guys. coming in on Monday? Yeah. Oh, nice. How was the cruise worth it? Did you enjoy it? Um, I did not have a. Re- I did no. not have. I'm not. I today. I was exhausted. I need a vacation from the vacation. I need a vacation. Did not from enjoy- my I knew he was going to enjoy it before he went. But you don't tell somebody you're making a grave mistake with a vacation after they've already got it going. You just did for an hour. Yeah, now you went, <laughs> and now that you're back, I'm like, I knew that yeah, was. Yeah, but, a- but not- wait, while you were gone though, just so you know. Yeah. I said it every day, constantly. To a lot of people, I go, Bobby's on a cruise for some reason. I don't know what the fuck you'd want to go on a cruise for. I prior, like, prior, I, you didn't say, hey, are you sure you want to go through with this? You didn't say that to him? It was prior? too late. He was he, already going. No, and he, he's going he with Kalta. No, he Kalta's is, uh, I think Kalta's three steps better friend than me mm-hmm. to him. So he, he, yeah, but sometimes you need someone a little removed. I know, but he assumes that I'm just being, I'm showing Kalta jealousy because I'm not number one. Uh, that I'm going like, I'm going like, the cruise is going to suck. And he's like, oh, he just, he hates when I hang out with Mike and don't think yeah. about you don't, it. But here's the thing. You're a young buck. Yeah. I've been doing this for 30 years. I just wanted a, a, a time off. Every Go to a cabin. Everything I do is always based. the ba- beach. Everything I do is always based around stand-up or of entertainment. Course. Of course. I wanted to go be a fucking human for you six days. The worst you picked one to do. the worst piece of humanity to be a human. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, he, he's not wrong. Yeah. You pick the worst thing to do to yeah. be a regular. Possibly. Go be a regular person in uh, Fiji. Do you know what I mean? Go, go be to a regular Cabo. person. Yeah, go to sure. go to you know Cabo. Uh, I'm what, saying the what are you, beach. Jennifer Aniston? Who's go going to, to Cabo? Go, go to, to the Cabo, beach. Dude. Go to San Juan Marcos. What? Say? I say outside to, chance you go to Cabo though. That by the time you get to the resort, Max is involved with the cartel. Yeah, I'm not going to Cabo with a ten year old. No, yeah. not with that ten year old. Yeah, not no. with a guy constantly <laughs> dropping his glasses down and uh, side eyeing people. Yeah. Hey, uh, your mijo have a problem? Yeah. Hey, a uh, problem with your mijo's eyes? Hey, peepers? Dad, what's a Colombian necktie? <laughs> That is this sugar. I got so much of it. I just grabbed it. You can grab anything here. They don't even care. Yeah, it was maybe in hindsight. Oh no. Maybe in hindsight. The Maximus Cortez back in town. <laughs> yeah, but maybe I should have. I should bring him to Cabo. Then have a movie like Bert and his own cruise. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the time he. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they call him the powder. They call him the tank. <laughs> it's the tank. And they call Bobby, his father the rickshaw. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby was so starved for anything on that cruise. What do you mean? Just anything to make him feel alive that he went to these oh. horrific. I I'm gonna say this right now. Horrific shows. I, I'm gonna stand by this. I love Broadway in any form. That's I cried. Not true. I cried on at the cruise? Lion King. I cried when the when they came out in the crowd. Have you seen the Lion King? No. Do you go I'm to good Broadway at all? The movie. No. Huh? Uh, I went to. One Broadway show, the Cher show. I took Christine for. Yeah. I will go see anything. I love it. I love. I listen. Gay. I liked Phantom of the Opera when yeah. I saw it when I was young. I thought that was cool. Les Misérables bored the shit out of me. Mm. That was all in Philly though, at the Forest Theater. When I was younger, they used to. Uh, uh, my grandmother would take me to see those two only, and then we went to see the Cher show. I've never. Besides that share show, seen anything on Broadway, and I'd like to. There's things I'd want to see. I, I should always. I was just broke 
when like the novelty ones came out that would have been fun like mm-hmm. the rocky one i should have just went to see right yeah it's ridiculous there was roadhouse for a while oh i should have saw that uh, wow. saturday night fever yes. they did so i'm like i should have gone to them. you didn't see wicked you didn't go to see any of this I'm, stuff. A, I'm a guy that would be like broadway sucks and then i know if i went i'd be like i want to do this all of the time <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, amazing. A, I'm a broadway queen i'll fucking admit it right now i love when I when I go to see Broadway, I love it. No, I love it. Ooh. I love plays. plays I go to see plays. plays. Well, you Music think I'd, I'd love Broadway because I'm living out rent. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's the end. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna go see West Side Story when they did a revival, but we just I would like, go see West Side Story. I'm, I'm I know say, all the music. I'm gonna say this though this Ooh. this show that I saw on the boat. Was one of the worst. Yeah, yeah of course. One it was of a the boat worst show. shows. <laughs> Bring it no, up. No, that's this not true. It. I've seen there are good boat shows. What is this show it Rock was City? It? This was Rock City. This is what it was. This is what it was. Okay. What is Rock City? Oh, this is the show on the boat that Bobby. We're going to show you. Okay. <laughs> Settle hey, down. What's that You're little whipped up? I'm Bobby, excited. what's that circle in the middle? Is that the snake pit of Rock On? <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's where they come up from at the beginning. Is it? Yeah. They rise it, from the bottom it, of the they stage. They rise from the bottom of the Christine, stage. Christine, play this right now, please. <laughs> this is. Now, th- it says rock in big letters. In big ACDC type letters. Yeah, here we go. And they got a live band. Here oh, a lot of horns for that rock. Is this all Chicago covers? Now we saw the second production. Give of it this. a chance. Live and yeah. let die. Yeah. So this is this is new. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, look at Live that. Live and let die. Mm-hmm. They got a horn section, a live drummer. <laughs> yeah. And rock. Right now. Where, 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 this where, is where, totally where, where. worth it. Here we go. The smoke's coming. The smoke's coming up from the hole. Dude, the crowd couldn't be less electric. Well, they can't be. They're 80. They Look at their heads. It's just heads. The band is miserable. They go, is the goddamn place on fire? What's the smoke? <laughs> I mean, the band is behind everything. Why all the smoke? Here they come. Here they come. Oh, my fucking Christ. <laughs> what were they doing? Dude, these guys were all kissing Pecker in the back. No. Bobby. All right, this is not the one. This is way better than the one I saw. What is Dude, that? This girl's dream of doing this, and look at the audience couldn't be less giving she a shit. She looks like Emma Woman got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. Bobby. Look at, oh, look at the chubby guy in the back. <laughs> With oh, the vest. Oh, my God. Special place. This is like if they packed up the Jersey Turnpike and put it on a boat. <laughs> God uh, damn. Oh, this. Look wow. at this black guy having to do it. So choreographed well. Every. Can I just say. Do you think it's because that gay black guy can't go home for Thanksgiving? He said, I'll do the cruise. I'll do it. <laughs> Max actually. No, he got on the cruise because he thought that that's what it would be. <laughs> Max actually said all these guys are gay. <laughs> yeah, even the girls. Yeah, even, even the, the girls are gay them. guys. <laughs> wow, wow, uh, but I, but look, but look how what dr- a medley. Look how dramatic they are with their heads. Oh, watch yeah. Watch their head movement. Ready? Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're all oh, getting their positions. Oh, look at that hip thrust. Oh, here comes the dancers. Oh, my God. What are they going to oh. go into next? The yeah, crowd, stupid. Uh, First of all, the crowd's so old, no one's holding their phones up. And no one, one is person. clapping. Yeah, but they don't have phones. Like, they have flip phones. <laughs> they have so jitterbugs. Many, yeah, so it's hard MPCs. to use a phone when it's attached to the wall. <laughs> Yo, none of them are clapping. None of them are moving. They can't there's clap. So They'll hurt MPCs. themselves. <laughs> there's empty seats. A lot of empty seats. <laughs> Front row, nobody wants to be a part of that. I mean, these people well, are you can't fucking f- giving their lives to them. They can't applaud. You can't do your wheelchair on the front row, Jay. This reminds me of the turtles coming out of their shell tour. <laughs> oh, this but is bad. Yeah. These old fogies so, don't know these songs. Yeah, so, look, guys, look at the way the rock. Look, your son walked off, put his sunglasses on indoors, and left you behind. Look at the way the rock. He's like, well, my right. father's one of them's. So wait, do they only just do this for an hour? It's a 45-minute show. And they play music the whole time. <laughs> they go from one song to the other. No way. They go for, in it's and a, they it's play, a medley show. They play, yeah, it's medley. This isn't a Broadway show. It's a concert, Bobby. Yeah, it, that's what they could. They, I, they, thought it, I thought they would have lines. No, they describe it as a concert, a rock concert. 
But it's they have dancing too. They do talk a little bit, right? They go, maybe no. I'm going to take you guys back to 1985 with a little man named David Coverdale. <laughs> Had a sexy young lady named Tony Katane dancing I, on the front I, of a Corvette. I need this you is, to, here we go again. I need you to find the cruise director lady, Julie. The no, the yeah, the Julie of my boat that I was on. I and put uh, a fucking gun to her head. You have to see her. She's, what was her name? Barb I, I Donna. Don't know. She's incredible, dude. It just visually. She's a sight to be seen. What are you gonna look up her LinkedIn? Oh, she might. They might be video of her. Oh, this, oh like this, welcome to the. Wait, this is a like program ship director. I, I have video of her. Oh. I'll send it to you. I have video. I, I Bobby, that's, you. Bobby, what are their? Uh, Did you put that camera phone on your shoe? Bobby, what are their terribly <laughs> uh, homoerotic shows you go to? <laughs> I got it right here. Bobby, what's that? What was the other uh, homoerotic show you went to? Also, oh, meanwhile, Bobby's there. I'm blowing a guy. I'm like, this is definitely straighter. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we should say Ian Finance is here, everybody, filming a special at the Cutting Room in New York City, Sunday, December third. That's this Sunday. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, he's going to be doing excited. two shows, seven and ninth. Nice. Well, I got to say, I the, seven and nine thirty. The tickets are sold out. Totally and now. Yes, but we're opening limited seating in the balcony, so there's going to be about twenty balcony seats left for the nine thirty show. Fuck so that's yeah, the one. Dude. How many shows are you doing? Two. Two, two shows. Mm-hmm. And yeah. is this a brand new hour? Yeah. Are you excited? I'm fucking pumped. Yeah. Dude, Who's I'm opening? So excited. I'm so ready. Fucking the the bitch of bitches, the one, the only Jordan. She's opening for you. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. How long are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna do probably between fifty and sixty, and then cut it down to like forty-five oh, yeah. to fifty. Nice. You know. Fuck yeah, dude. But I'm fucking. We'll pumped, get those man. few the last remaining tickets that are now, or the opened up tickets rather, yes. at ianfidance.com. It's F-I-D-A-N-C-E. Ianfidance.com. Yes. Um. It's funny how many people I know who've known you for a long time almost say it right, but still think it's finance. Always. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Always. pretty funny. It's, or if you're Derek Gaines, it's the dance. It's the it, dance. It's one of those names, though. you got to cut people slack. I know. I used to it's see Fenoya would get... Mike Fenoya... He still gets it. But he would get... Like sh angry? I had to stop him from like getting so angry with getting people. Getting annoyed. I don't care. Uh, but would, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I, annoyed. I go, dude. There's Nothing? 17 vowels. That was a good one. Yeah. You stepped on it. It what? was a good fanoid. But I gave it to those two. I mean, I've been, I've been doing the fanoid <laughs> fanoid thing for years. I but I like it too. I like Can it. I get a little bit? Bobby's Bobby's still on cruise ship time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to talking to old people. You're doing you guys, PG, you're doing you two fucking, you two queens are talking way too fast. <laughs> so slow it down. I was oh, like, oh guys, I never. You know, it's the rush. Funny, <laughs> yeah, chill, dude. I, I'm on uh, cruise. Shut up, I'm cruising. <laughs> Go ahead. Nope. <laughs> uh, we have a call. I will say we have a caller on the line that says he wants to defend cruises. Thank you. I hope Whoa. it's. I hope it's Mike. <laughs> it's Josh. <laughs> I've been a cruise director for 35 years. <laughs> Josh, you there? Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? Hey, you're on the bonfire cruise talk. Pull up a floaty and jump on in the public piss pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on to the buffet and get yourself some chicken and some uh, yeah. rice. Get some chicken tandoori a and a slice of, the, of pizza. A little bit of the yellow. <laughs> get as much ice cream as you want. Um, you, 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 you want to defend really cruises. Cruise line that you go on. What? I mean, you probably can't say, but... I can't. Oh, he said. Oh, I can't. The celebrity. I went on Celebrity Cruise, but I went on the not the greatest ship that they have. Okay. I went on the, I don't know what the hell it was called. The pontoon? Um, What's that? <laughs> Josh, when you go on cruises, do you go with family or do you go alone or with a girlfriend? We actually, it's our annual Christmas cruise. We go every year in December for a week. And we go around and, you know, it's like we usually do a seven-night cruise. We <laughs> Just who, who is it, though? Who's on the cruise with you? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a family cruise, but, you know, we all have our own private time. But, you know, it's like my brother, his wife, my father, and... And why, you know, kind of do. why this cruise rather than let's all go in on a cabin? Let's all go get a beach house. Get a sick ass, yeah, Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Well, because you have a kid. It's well, you don't want to, you go to Myrtle Beach, you're going to get crabs, let's be honest. Okay. Um, Eating them or in no. your pants? Again. Well, both. It depends. Both. 
Uh, no, you just, it really is, you just have to go in with the experience of making your own cruise experience, Bobby. Well, I, isn't it limited? I, went I mean, on, what the fuck I, else are you supposed I to do? I went on one, the, I went on the Constellation, I believe it was called, and it's the lowest one. That's the Constellation? Older, yeah, that's an older ship. That's an old ship. I think I messed up by going, I should have did a little more research. I think if I went on a better ship. Look up Celebrity I, Constellation I, Entertainment. I, I would have. No. <laughs> I would have had a better time. I was in the back of that suite. (laughs) Yeah, we were looking earlier. The Royal Caribbean, the icon of the sea. Yeah. Looks like there's a lot going on, but how good could it even be, Josh? Uh, Hey, those ships are really fucking amazing. They have everything. Do you have kids? I'm leaving on Sunday on a cruise on the Odyssey of the Sea. Do you have kids? I do not. Oh, see, that is a little bit better. Like, Bobby couldn't even have some alone uh, fuck time with his wife. Uh, his son's, uh, the, the, he's the bell of the ball. Didn't he, Bobby, didn't you notice how large the bathrooms were when you were on the ship? The bathroom was so small, <laughs> I could smell no, my no, wife you have poop. To go, to like a, go up to, like, the deck where, like, the you know, the wine bar is or something. That's where you have a little ten minute with your wife. May I? Where? Ooh, in the wine bar bathrooms. May I? May you I just use the cabin? May I just say? Sure. As a sober person, it, it, doesn't that seem like hell? Being stuck on a floating thing with hundreds of people you don't know in the middle of nowhere. I went with to meetings. Alcohol and everything around I went to you, meetings. and no entertainment. They have them on the boat. I'll say it again. Right. I, I went to meetings. Do they have them on the I boat? Know, but I know, I, but even so, it's like... Yeah, but I'm in a comedy club with a bunch of shit people, too, every week. Yeah, but week. it's different. You can leave. You can walk away. This is like your... I just... Yeah. I, I think I'd feel claustrophobic. No. I, I don't... In that, that, alcohol, that That doesn't bother me. I'm not... Uh, the, the, the addiction part... The only thing the addiction that fucks with me on a boat is the food addiction. That's the one where I can have as much as I want, but... Yeah, I did. I, I did think. I think I made my stomach a little bigger this week, the last six days, mm. because I ate like shit. I felt like I was swollen. My 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 ankles hurt. You walk mm. off that boat, you feel like shit. Christine, you don't feel good. Please click on one of these celebrity constellation entertainments. Oh no. Oh, is that? Don't click on that one. Don't do that one. Yes, oh, no, do I, this one. I thought you were doing the one. Oh. <laughs> It's again, what's happening on stage isn't bad necessarily here. It's just the, I've never seen, it looks like he's practicing in an empty room because no one and cares. someone left the lights on. <laughs> Go to the other one. Well, no, move forward on that one. Yeah, but it's like, I feel like I'd watch this and be like, yeah, I get it. All right, now what? Look at this guy. For like a week? What's this guy doing? I mean, God bless you. Yeah, Live your best life. You're, but here's the thing, dude. Your life, the way you are, you're a maniac. You just yeah. fucking going. You're jumping on bikes, smoking cigarettes, blowing guys. I have mm-hmm. a wife and a kid. I'm mm-hmm. 53. I'm so at you're a, jealous. I'm at a oh. different state. I've done it all. Yeah. I've I've ridden bikes, smoked cigarettes, and blue yeah. dudes. I've done. Have you ever done it at the same time, yeah. like Ian Fine? Yeah. No, of course, I, I didn't have well, that. I didn't have a basket on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? You're at a different stage of life. Yeah. No, totally. So like totally. you, like when I was your age, like going on a cruise at all. I wouldn't even fucking do it as a comic. I guess I'm just saying, if you wanted it to be with family time and everything, yeah. I would stay away from also including thousands of strangers. But I, my, my thinking was this, right? We go on a cruise, they mm-hmm. just go and do what they want. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you're just going to go. Max is going to go and be with some kids all day. And Dawn's going to go That's get... That's a crazy pet- thing to feel like. She's going to go get pedicures and massages and go do her thing and go by the pool and get drinks. And I'm going to be doing my little thing. You know what I mean? Have my time. And it's when... The reason why there's so many other people involved... What are you doing? Where are you going? What time is this? So there's... You know what I mean? Like, there was no... There was kind of... It, I, I didn't have that. The frustration I would feel if my dinner time was dictated by a crew, by a group of people, and then when you got to the place, it, you weren't you sitting to, with them anyway. You had to wait. Yeah. No, you weren't sitting with them yeah. anyway. It and it's like, we could have went to dinner yeah. whenever yep. we wanted to go, yep. whether it be earlier or later. It's just yep. like we were, and again, that's mm-hmm. the thing about being like a little beholden to other people. Yeah. Our plans is tough. I learned a lot from this cruise, though. That's why I think I could do the cruise again. Right? You can get separated and back together with one week on a cruise. <laughs> yeah. And that there's no such he thing as a time machine. He told Dawn they're separated. Do you want to call no. on the air and apologize, Bobby? Do you want what? to tell you're not separated anymore? <laughs> I mean, if you want me to, I will. You should probably tell her that we talked to you and you're back together now. Uh, you saw what abusive. was out there. She's abusive. She's abusive. 
She's not going to answer. She doesn't answer, answer the phone. No, she never answers the phone. But you know what the thing is? Can I say one thing? Sure. You know what this holiday season did bring me? Thanksgiving? Gratitude. Oh, I know yeah. what it brought you. In our house, it brought me a lot of photos. Yeah. I took a lot of photos. In our house, some of our family holiday traditions are Almost really... got your son arrested by maritime police. <laughs> <laughs> the simplest and most enjoyable. Trimming the tree, making cookies, going on a cruise, prepping great holiday meals each year. There are new memories created and moments that are really special. So we capture them in our cameras, and then we share them with our families who can't be with us. Thanks to our Aura digital picture frame, it's the perfect gift for the people you love. This is not the digital frame you remember from years ago. There's no USB or SD cards and no hassle. Aura is so easy to use, even Set to set up, it's amazing. My son has one. He took it out of the box, took it in his room, didn't even ask for help. He had it going, hooked up to the one I gave his mom, his grandmother, oh, no. and they were exchanging photos. Oh, gosh. Right, not like that. Oh, the geez. app walks you right through just a few steps, and boom, it's ready. Now grandma can oh. see just how. Look at my phone holder. <laughs> what, Max, what, 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 Max, what Max did on his cruise <laughs> and all the, all the crazy oh, stuff he did. Man. Oh, man. Maximus. Is that Rosie O'Donnell naked behind you? <laughs> Give the perfect gift this holiday. Visit AuraFrame.com, frames.com today and get $30 off their best-selling frames with the code BONFIRE. These frames, they're going to sell out quickly because it's the perfect time and the perfect gift to give somebody. So go there right now before they're gone. That's Aura, A-U-R-A, frames.com with the promo code BONFIRE. Terms and conditions apply. You see, by the way, uh, yeah, Burke Kreischer did the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, and for the days he was in Philadelphia, did every dream Philadelphia thing. He like, I don't know if he rang the Sixers like bell. He was like, he was like commentating during uh, like in-house arena, like during the Flyers game. They had him down on the floor. Wow. Does it bother you because he's was... not even from Philly? No, because they do it for him everywhere because he's celebrity. I don't. That doesn't mm-hmm. really bother. He's a party guy, celebrity, so it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. It's just like. It will never mean as much to him as it would to me. I know, yeah. That bothers me. That did particular get, thing. Did he if get it was to like put he, on a uniform did. and like do like a play for the Sixers? <laughs> said, That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes, dude, he, Bert professionally has one assist in his <laughs> career. <laughs> He's is this the stuff? Oh, yeah, he also won the 50-50 raffle. What? 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 So I mean, he bought all the 50-50 raffle things and he won the $19,000. And what did he do with it? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, my God. He looks fantastic. Yeah, there it was. He's doing all the uh, stuff. That doesn't stuff. bug you at Jay, all. Jay, what would your that dream... That doesn't bug you at all, What dude? would your dream, like, hey, sports team Hook is up. open to you. Let's do something fun that you th- think would, would be enjoyable. Oh, there's nothing that's like, fun about it necessarily. I just want to know them. And then when I go, when I say I'm going to come to a game, to sit with my feet on the... Oh. Court. I want to ask you a question. And I, Two, three games a year. Jay. Wow. Jay. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yes. That I, doesn't bug you at all. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me and be honest with me. I know you love Bert. I love Bert. We all sure. love Bert. Bert's a great guy. Yeah. Oh, look, he's with the Eagles stuff. Oh, Jay. Look at me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think that's Diana jacket. Right? Oh, wait. What? He has an Eagles jacket. That oh, doesn't gave, bug you at all. They gave it to him? That doesn't That's bug you. the limited edition <laughs> Princess Diana Wow. Eagles Always got to stop by Suplex. Yes, What's sir? that, Leanne? <laughs> oh, my God. His wife got Eagles stuff. She hates the Eagles. Three more, baby. Oh, the dude that his assistant got an that's Eagles not, jacket. Th- that's not a special jacket. He just got a jacket. Dude, that dude with you a beard. That no, that's the, no, that's the jacket. No, that's the Princess Di limited edition one they released. What? Yeah. What is? Explain this to me. What is this? She, right. Years ago, she took a picture wearing a Philadelphia Eagles Jay. thing. Oh, Miss Pat was on the show. Good. Oh, she got yeah. a jacket, too. Listen, she's an Atlanta fan. <laughs> Listen, Jay, this doesn't bug you at all. DJ, Je- you DJ Jazzy Jeff was his him. DJ. This doesn't bug you at all. Oh, that's great. And it's... No. Oh, it's only eighty nine dollars. Let's get it for Jay. The shut up. That's a knockoff. Oh, the uh, wait. Jay. Bird has Jay. the one she actually wore. Answer, <laughs> answer the question, Jay. Does it bug you? But no. Why are but you doing I, I'll this? give shut you. What you but I can give you what you want. I can give you what you're looking what? for here. No, that thing didn't bug me because I don't give a shit about the flyers. Yes. it means nothing to me. But um, if that same is hilarious, that's all his fifty fifties. If that. Uh, same thing was going on. If he had that kind of... Listen, the access backstage right now, the Wells Fargo that he's got going, yes, 
I wish that was me also. This is Preston and Steve's show. He's going on. But uh, where's that store? <laughs> He's doing all your famous dreams. But... If it was a if it was a Sixers game, I would have been pretty bummed. Or so now, when you ma- when you hit it big and something, I don't get upset when he when, has like when, the when you hit it big and, and they want you to come. It's not going to be the same. It's not, never going to happen. I will never not pay for my tickets to Eagles and Sixers games. Don't, for sure. Don't say that. I'm I'm did you 40. read a book? I'm already Why 46. Are you so positive? I'm always He's positive. always positive. Positive yeah. Ian? Yeah. <laughs> HIV Ian. <laughs> Why? I, I, HIV Ian positive. Do you have AIDS? <laughs> Cheers out. H E V. Uh, it's I, no longer death sentence, Bobby. Please, I, I don't deal. care. I don't want. I know he's not going to die, but I don't want him to get those weird fingernails and that pot belly. No, no, no. But share <laughs> oh, straws. Prep? Yeah, I don't oh. want prep belly. Guys, share oh, some yeah, straws. I've seen that. Oof. Share your straws. <laughs> yeah. Just share straws in a real quick. Yeah, sure. You could. Why not? I've tried, and you, I look like you've a tried fool. to swing dick. You, not swing dick, but I mean, I've tried to be like, "Hey, let's just draw it right up." As I'll pay for my seats, but like, give me the hookup to get the seats that I want for a handful of games a year. Mm-hmm. And it was essentially just like, no. Oh. <laughs> like it was like you kind of have to like wait oh. and get in line for the yeah. uh, when someone gets rid of their tickets yeah. in that section. And Bobby, why are you doing this in? That'd be like Jay being like, because I'll you, tell you, does I'll, it upset you people go on Royal Caribbean? Do, do, yeah, does it, it upset you people go on Carnival? It's, it's not, not the same thing. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Ian, why? Because we're doing a radio show, and I want some honesty out of this guy. Yeah. And second of all, you know, it think bothered, being honest. I've had other dudes, and I've been where he's at. Look at man, I, I've never made it as big as Dane or. Or even you know Billy or some, and they they've you have a dream as a comedian mm. and as an actor whatever that someday you'll be able to do this or someday you'll you'll mm. get this like I'll be able to throw the first pitch out at a Red Sox game yeah. or something like that. that could and then when you there's so many games a year, and, uh, you're making me sick to my stomach. <laughs> I really hope you get AIDS and it it doesn't work out. Listen, it, you know I got I, offered. I, I understand AIDS? what you're saying, Ian. I know I, I know you're saying. I understand where yeah. you're coming from, and that's a good place to come from. I'm just joking. I don't want you to get it. Of course. But what Thank I'm you. saying is this. You're yes. special. I get am. it after the special. But if you but, do, it's no longer a death sentence. But what I'm saying is this, Ian, is yeah. that I have felt that, and it sucks, because you know that that thing that you had in the back of your head, somebody you know no, it's all, listen, got it. Listen, Did, Kev, I guess Kev's, I always just thought I was Kev, shit, and I'm Kev, never going to get nothing. Sure. So it's like everything's a fucking gift. I agree with that. <laughs> Kev, I, Kev, I hear you. Kev I hear has you. much more, because it's like Sixers, Eagles, where I see his access, where I'm, like, I'm more envious of that. Bert's thing is just not necessarily what I would have liked. I don't care about Flyers. I don't care about hockey. Yeah. And I'm happy. I wish what I had for the Eagles, what Burt has with the Tampa Bay Bucks. They show him on the screen. He yeah. comes out and yells. He's probably yeah. on the field. Like, that's fucking pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like you know, there's certain things that have had, like, I mean, Burt played Fenway. Not a dream of mine. But, an, like, I could watch that and go, wow, that's fucking, he's a comic that played Fenway. Yeah. That's nuts. No, it's not, I don't care about the, but the that size does, of the place. That you know what? That it's doesn't the bother access. Me. You want to be the treated access. at Fenway. Yeah. When you when you go, hey, uh, Maximus, you want to go see a, uh, exactly. you want to go see a thing? I have a phone call you make, and then it's like, of course, come to, mm. listen, Sal, when we went to see Billy Joel uh, at the Garden, it was like, we had regular tickets, we bought tickets. Yeah. But when we were like trying to figure out who wanted the other tickets, like Sal was like, "Yeah, sure. he goes, yeah, I'll go with you guys," and he goes, "Let me know uh, what, what night is it. I'm gonna get us set up so we can go through. So we just walk through VIP. Always still to our seat. a guy. That That's fucking rule. I don't like. I, I, I've done the the comics come home every year, Cam Neely thing, and I know Cam. I know his family. I know his son. I couldn't get a free Bruins ticket if you say, and I've murdered, and yeah. I, I've walked up after killing in front of everybody, and then met the owner of the Red Sox." And he going, you're amazing. You're a- unbelievable. And his whole family. And I was like, hey, nice to meet you. That's great. You Expecting- don't have the thing. Like, I don't have the thing to go. It's like, hey, what good? Why don't you give me a yeah, why honorary didn't you just say, suite? Yeah, why but didn't I don't you have say, that. Hey, I'm, I'm such a fan of yours. It's amazing. You know, I love the Red Sox. I'd love to come to a game sometime. I did. Oh, you did. And he, just, and he just was like, he's like, <laughs> oh, it's great. Thanks for being a fan. We'll see you later. Really? Yeah, it's no. I didn't. Yeah, I don't have the. Uh, <laughs> I just don't have the charm. Thing. Yeah, not. I mean, <laughs> I guess I don't have the thing or the like the person to make the connection. Uh, the one thing I don't have is the fame. Like you know that helps. Yeah, but in that moment when they go, "You're amazing," you you why you said, "Hey, 
I'd love to come to I'm a game. I'm just saying. And I'm, he just said being, no? I'm just being honest. Did you say it in that moment? No, so he didn't say that. I'm just being honest. No. That the, you you have dreams coming up at, in your hometown of sure. being a hometown boy, and sometimes when they when other people that you know get to be the hometown guy, it's like fuck. No, you're right. That That's why is. I'm from Delaware. Yeah. That is, no, you're right. I said before, like, like Kev is like Kevin Hart the is Hulk. Philadelphia. Yeah. He's uh, Dane sport. was Boston. Burr is Boston. Right. You know, I'm 53. And there's a thing like there's a chance like and you there probably is. I bet there's I bet there's hype videos that have existed where it shows like Kev. Yeah. Saying something and the place will go like. Yeah. Oh. You know, it's like uh, Bradley Cooper sitting in the owner's box all weekend yep. with uh, with Jeffrey Lurie mm-hmm. during that crazy Bills game. You see that, and you're like, fucking Bradley Cooper. Mm. Oh, man. Oy, I know we have to you know break what, Lou. Though? We're all griping about our failure. Yeah, dude. Life <laughs> is full Bobby's on the shittiest fucking If you fucking make your own dreams, yeah, well, anything <laughs> can come true. <laughs> yeah, I had to go on a cruise and pay for it. Why don't you Caribbean. recalibrate your dreams, Bobby? I need to hang out with you more, Ian. You're <laughs> yeah. a very positive guy. That's right. Life is full of challenges. But it's also full of rewards, like trying to keep your kids entertained on a road trip. That can be challenging, especially if you're not famous famous enough to get them tickets and backstage, and you have to or pay for everything. Pit. Yeah, or the snake and your pit. Your son thinks you're an idiot because yeah. we didn't get in the snake pit, even or though our tickets were free. A outside, you can't even stick up for him in line to an old lady. You have to have a friend do it. That uh, can be challenging, cause right? Because you get average tickets from a guy in the band. What yeah. happened there? It's a rookie mistake, is what happened. <laughs> okay, save your sanity with the Snickers special treat for good behavior. Let's say you finally got the challenging project done at work and you're feeling pretty good about yourself thinking, you know what? I deserve, you know what, dude? I deserve a cookie and maybe a latte. Just dude. another rookie mistake. Satisfying. Nothing satisfies quite like a Snickers. Now it's game day. Game's coming over. You got everything planned from dip to dinner, but the dessert recipe, yeah, it didn't work out so well. Did Kevin it? No. Hart's on the TV at yeah. the stadium. Yeah, Bert's on TV. They're cheering him. They're just carrying him around the stadium and, with the players. Yeah, nobody knows you. The guy next to you goes, you do comedy, huh? That's another rookie mistake. Thankfully, you got a stash of Snickers you can bury your feelings with. Listen, maybe your team didn't win, but your dessert sure did. Sometimes it takes a Snickers bar to come back from little life challenges. Rookie mistake. Maybe you just need a Snickers. Snickers, the official chocolate bar. Sponsor of the NFL. Check out Snickers.com slash NFL to learn more. Ooh, you know, in our house, some of our family traditions are really simple and most enjoyable. Trimming the tree, making cookies, and prepping a great holiday meal. But each year, there's new memories created and moments that are really special, so we capture them on our cameras and then share them with family who can't be with us thanks to the Aura Digital Picture Frame. It's the perfect gift for the people you love. It's not the digital picture frame you remember from years ago. There's no USB, no SD cards, no hassle. Aura is easy to use and even easier to set up. The app walks you through just a few steps and boom, it's ready to go. Now Grandma can see just how well her famous recipes turned out. Give the perfect gift this holiday. Visit AuraFrames.com today and get $30 off their best-selling frames with code BONFIRE. These frames sell out quickly, though, so get yours before they're gone. That's AuraFrames, A-U-R-A, frames.com with promo code BONFIRE. Terms and conditions do apply. Hey, everyone. It's your friend John Mayer here. Genres aren't rock or pop or hip-hop. They're real genres of life. They're like Mondays, dinner with family, songs I remember from junior high. And that's what you're going to get on Life with John Mayer. It's my music. It's everyone else's music. It's singing in the shower and a quiet night at home. Come along with me as I play music that fits the moments of your life as they happen. On now, Channel 14 and on the Sirius XM app. Hi, Mom. Surprise, I brought you something. Socks. Oh, heat holders original. I use them for snow sports and around the farm. I also bought a bunch for my new work site. I know what everyone is getting for gifts this holiday. (laughs) Heat holder socks are the warmest. We use a proprietary three-stage process, making heat holders the softest, warmest, and most comfortable socks guaranteed. We also have hats, gloves, throws, and so much more. Go to heatholders.com. Use the code HOLIDAY to save 15% off your order. Free shipping for orders over $25. Heatholders.com. Need help with your holiday shopping list this year? Sirius XM can save you money and time while helping you find the perfect gifts. Visit SiriusXM.com slash gift ideas and check out the holiday gift guide. It's filled with gift ideas, perfect for anyone on your list, and special offers, too. The holiday gift guide is brought to you in part by Heat Holders, the warmest thermal socks ever. 
And check out SiriusXM.com slash gift ideas to learn more. It's that time of year. The kids are back in school and it won't be long before they're bringing home more than just homework. Colds, flu, and viruses are making their rounds along with miserable seasonal allergies. I'm Martin Hoke and I invented Navage, the nose cleaner with powered suction. Navage pulls saline in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out the other nostril, flushing out allergens, mucus, and germs. Navage helps provide natural, immediate relief. Listen to the words of Michelle, a verified Navage user. I've had problems for as long as I can remember and finally found this wonderful product. What a difference it has made. I am so excited about this. I tell everyone, thank you, unquote. This cold and flu season, join nearly 4 million people and experience how Navage can help you breathe better, snore less, and feel healthier without drugs. Navage is available at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, and Navage.com. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. Ho, 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 I love the holidays. Throwing the perfect holiday party doesn't require an entire workshop. Here's my little secret, WineEnthusiast.com. Wine Enthusiast puts the holiday cheer in my seasonal soirees. From keeping my favorite bottles stored at the perfect temperatures. Honey, can you get me another red from the wine cooler? Yes, Mrs. Claus. From stemware to decanters, WineEnthusiast.com is the premier destination for wine accessories, storage, cheese boards, and personalized gifts galore. For wine and whiskey lovers and aficionados. Cheers! WineEnthusiast.com is your one stop holiday gift giving destination shop the wine enthusiast.com black friday cyber monday and holiday deals for the best prices of the year on wine storage gifts and more plus get free standard shipping on orders of 99 dollars or more text cheers to 511 511 to get 15 percent off your first order text cheers to 511 511 wine enthusiast.com we bring wine to life discount and shipping exclusions apply message and data rates may apply text stop to opt out Trunk Nation, a place for you to sound off on all things rock. You're really on to something on that live band stuff. People are, you know, accusing other people of using tracks. You could formalize it, certified ET live. <laughs> no, I'm serious, though. You could create a whole industry around that, and you'd be the perfect guy to start it. <laughs> Trunk Nation with Eddie Trunk. Weekdays, 3 p.m. East on Sirius XM Channel 103. Or listen anytime on the SXM app. Soaring violins, electrifying guitars, and all the magic of the holidays. Tis the season to rock out with Trans-Siberian Orchestra Radio, a brand new seasonal channel hosted and curated by the band members themselves. That's the song that put us on the map 28 years ago. Every time I hear it, it's brand new to me. I hope it is to you as well. Now, for a limited time, exclusively on the SiriusXM app, search TSL. With the holidays just around the corner, now is the time to order holiday cards for family and friends. Only this year, why not create custom holiday photo cards quickly, easily, and affordably at simplytoimpress.com. Simplytoimpress.com is your holiday photo card headquarters with thousands of unique Christmas cards and other designs to choose from. All you do is upload your family photos, personalize the text, and you're done. Simplytoimpress.com prints your cards on your choice of premium card stock in just a few days and rushes them straight to your door. Maybe that's why the New York Times wire cutter named Simply to Impress their favorite photo card service. They even offer foil cards and hundreds of great holiday card designs for your business, too. Place your order today to save 35% and get free shipping. Just enter promo code RADIO at checkout. Save big on holiday photo cards today using promo code RADIO at simplytoimpress.com. That's simplytoimpress.com. Hi, I'm Steven Singer. Yep, that's me, the I Hate Steven Singer guy. People ask, what does this mean, I Hate Steven Singer? Well, most other jewelers love to sell diamond studs that are cheap. They have a name for it, Frozen Spit. I'm serious. That's what other jewelers call their own products, Frozen Spit. Can you imagine buying a cloudy diamond that's milky color? Oh my, buy real diamonds from a real jeweler. Steven Singer Jewelers, who backs up every diamond with a real lifetime full trade in value. The best money back guarantee in the business. Here's why. Other jewelers hate our beautiful and needed diamond studs because ours are 100% eye flawless and near colorless. 
beautiful stuff. They come complete with our 14 karat safety silicone backs, so she never has to worry about losing them or outgrowing them because our diamonds are such nice quality that we offer everyone a lifetime upgrade. You can trade in your Anita diamond studs and get exactly what you paid for them. I wish I could trade in my old iPhone and get what I paid. Visit me, the real Steven Singer, at the other corner of 8th and Walnut or online at IHateStevenSinger.com. One place, one price. I was afraid to cut the cord, but once I did, I couldn't believe it took so long to do it. Paying too much for my cable bill had become a bad habit. I either wasn't getting what I wanted or never knew where to find any of my favorite shows until it was too late. Plus, the prices just kept going up. Thankfully, I discovered a new way to watch called Philo. For just $25 a month, I can catch all my favorite shows on networks like BET, MTV, and TLC. It even has Nickelodeon for my kids. I can watch anytime I want, anywhere I want. Plus, Philo lets me have up to three streams at once, so everyone can watch what they want at the same time. Throw in the unlimited DVR that saves all my favorites for up to a year, and this really is the best deal in TV. I just wish I hadn't waited so long. Sound too good to be true? Well, try it out for yourself, and you'll see why people who love TV love Philo. Go to philo.tv, that's P-H-I-L-O dot TV, and start your seven-day free trial now. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Robert Kelly. You know, yeah, hard, yeah. Hardcore music is better than punk. Yeah. Yep. I don't like punk music. Punk's great. always punk's always been like a an overall letdown to me because it's actually much more bubbly than it's supposed that it looks like it's going to be. Do you know like, what I mean? Punk like looks like it's, it's uh. Fucking, I mean, like the big ones, obviously, like Rancid, I knew. Yeah. It's like, they're like, Ruby, like Ruby Soho. That's right. like punk music to me. When you actually uh, hear it, I'm like, oh, it's kind of actually lame. Yeah. Uh, the Sex Pistols, even. It's like, they have a song or two I like, but mm. overall, it's a little bubbly. This is like... Hardcore so, punk rock. It's, it's like small, it's like short songs like punk rock, but they're like musically better, this harder. Is, this is the complete opposite of the cruise I just did. What no, he's this about is rock to go. on, dude. Yeah. What you're about to do is the exact opposite. But this no, you want to hear the version of this, though, when a, when a girl comes out wearing jeans and yeah. a leather jacket. Yeah. Sipping Lysol. Sipping Lysol. Yeah. Yeah. Sipping Lysol. <laughs> Ian Finance is going to be filming a special at the Cutting Room, New York City, this Sunday, everybody, 7 to 9.30. They are opening up some tickets in the balcony. It's a small venue. Small so the venue. balcony is not far back. There's still great seats. His, historic venue too to see it's a great yes. I love you doing it there. that's it's why great. I'm doing it, it there. I love it I'm Joan pumped. Rivers used to have a residency there and yes passed. yes um, get tickets at ianfinance.com Robbie Big. Kelly's gonna be in Dania Beach Florida December 15 and 16. You also, Jacob, you're going to get a Jacob sighting, everybody. After that, he's going to be in Fort Wayne, Indiana for New Year's Eve. One night, two shows. Get your tickets now. Then Saratoga Springs, New York, Wisconsin. For tickets and all tour dates, and there's a lot of them, robertkellylive.com. And Big J, you're going to be in Houston, Providence, Pittsburgh, New Year's Eve for That's tickets right. and all other dates. BigJComedy.com. Get his... Our holiday show sold out. Oh, it's sold yes. out. Yes, I just did Pittsburgh Improv. Great club. But... Three, two, one. One, three. While it's I the was bonfire, you got raped. See you guys tomorrow. Time to swap that pumpkin spice latte for a peppermint mocha. Sirius XM's Modern Holiday Hits channel, Holly, is back. It's merry, bright, and packed with Christmas favorites. Underneath the tree, have a holly jolly Christmas. Last Christmas, I gave you my. Listen now for a limited time on Channel 79 and on the SiriusXM app. Free with all trials and popular plans. Adam and Eve is not giving you 10% off and not 20% off or even 40%. Your discount is even bigger. AdamandEve.com is giving you a whopping 50% off. But why stop there? In addition to 50% off, you also get 10 free gifts. That includes a racy item for him, a sensuous toy for her, and something we know you'll both enjoy. Ooh. And six extra special bonus items that are sure to rev your engine, pique your curiosity, Ooh. and even blow you away. And best of all... Free shipping. Always delivered in discreet packaging. So rethink your bedroom routine. Go to adamandeve.com and enter the station's exclusive code at checkout. Doll. And get, you know the discount, 50% off almost any item and 10 tantalizing free gifts. That's doll. D-O-L-L. Doll. Football is back. 
and NFL Plus has you covered. Get NFL Plus and you'll never miss a moment of live football action this season with live local and primetime games on mobile, NFL Network, NFL Red Zone, live game audio, and more all in one place. That's right. This season, get NFL Red Zone and NFL Plus Premium so you never miss a touchdown. That's every touchdown from every game, every Sunday during the regular season, across devices. Sign up today at plus.nfl.com. Terms and conditions apply. We're going abroad for the first time in years. To Spain. But we don't speak Spanish. So we started using Babbel. And started learning Spanish fast. With Babbel, you can start having conversations in another language in just three weeks. Babbel's conversational method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Babbel is designed with that goal in mind. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Estoy muy emocionado para ir a España contigo. Aw, he just said, I'm very excited to go to Spain with you. Nos vamos a divertir mucho. And that means we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> sí. Gracias, Babbel. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. As an owner-operator with Landstar, you have the freedom to run when and where you want. Plan your own schedule and haul what you want. Landstar's unique load alert system notifies you when freight matching your criteria is available. And our innovative Landstar One mobile app is designed to put more profit in your pocket. If the search for financial freedom is driving you, turn to Landstar. Call Landstar today at 877-472-0099 or visit leasetolandstar.com. It's time for I Am Athlete's Paper Route with your hosts, Brandon Marshall, Ashley Nicole Moss, and Corey Holmes. Guess what day it is? It's hump day! Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? Shout out to Humpty. <laughs> it's hump day. Keeping me company in the studio all by my lonesome self. It is me, myself, and I today because, as we know, Brandon is in Chicago. B Flow is, I don't know where in the world B Flow is today, but it's just me holding it down. But I hear we have a special guest also joining us from Chicago. Antoine Walker's in the building. What's up, guys? I'm, so, I'm a special guest? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, this ain't my first rodeo. No, but I mean, like, you know, special guest, meaning you, it's a surprise that you're here. Gotta, well, here in my city, you supposed to got You gotta come see me. You come to you in my city. Okay, talk to me nice. Don't talk to me twice. What's up, guys? How's the shy treating you? Cold, your, I bet. Your, your, your your skin looks great today. Like, Thank did you. you. Did you get some sleep? And what did you do anything differently? I always get the lighting sleep. Lighting is just it's hitting perfect. I told you I cleared my roster this cuffing season, so I'm stress free. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's showing on your skin. No, it's good. We're in Chicago. Um, it's been amazing. Um, pulled up on Twan. I didn't know. I didn't know you could sing. So there was a karaoke night. Every is it every is every Monday. Every Monday, <laughs> yeah. Every Monday there's a karaoke night, and um, he blessed us with a beautiful a beautiful uh, song selection. Karaoke night yeah. where? One of my friends um, does a Monday a Monday night karaoke night. So I always go, I mean, I go uh, quite a bit, but sometimes I perform, Ash. It's like so, a hidden, sometimes I get out and I perform. So I wasn't going to perform, but this is uh -huh. what happened. They wanted Cam and, and Brandy was in the building and they, they wanted to bless the mic. Okay. So they kind of chickened out and did a, try to do a duet. Okay. I can't think of the name of the song. They tried to do a duet. <laughs> they was a little nervous. So I had to like calm their nerves and let them feel comfortable. So... I went on and did my my Johnny Gill. Oh, uh, my my my. My my my. my. So you that's my joy. Yeah. That's my song. Yeah. I love that song. Wait, so was there like an audience for this, like, or was it just oh, you yeah. guys yeah. in a karaoke room by yourself, house. Yeah, or a packed house? A nice packed house. house. Yeah. Did you get a standing ovation? What was the audience uh, response? Um. I mean, they've seen me perform before, so I'm always going to, you know, get a decent response. But I think they was more excited to see Brandon and, and Cam perform. What did they perform? They picked some. What song did y'all pick? Uh, uh, Cam had Usher, Confessions. Uh-huh. I, I, I can't. 
It was a, a Chicago <laughs> artist that I that's canceled that uh, we ain't gonna talk about. You move. saying that? Yeah. He no, I, I didn't. We don't know. Let's move forward. Let's get into the show. Let's get. Into oh the my! Show. Of all the Let's songs to show. pick, that's the one you artist to go with. That's the one you went with in public. No, Brandon, no, Brandon, move. Brandon. You better hope there were no cameras present. That may come full circle. Listen, oh, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Paper Route. If you are listening on Sirius XM Faction Talk 103, we thank you. Everyone joining us on YouTube, what's up, what's up? We have a jam-packed show today. We're going to talk some NFL, some NBA, and everything in between. Last night, we had some amazing November basketball. The jury's still out if that has anything to do with the in-season tournament. But eight teams are moving forward in that in-season tournament. My New York Knicks being one. Your but uh, the vi- shout out to VC. I hear him clapping in the in the green room over there. But um, listen, one of the things diving into Monday's headlines, one of the things that has got NBA fans scratching their heads and Warriors fans wanting to break their TVs is the performance from the Golden State Warriors in the clutch last night. We'll dive into that and hear Steve Kerr's explanation or lack thereof if we will but uh brandon i know you got something you want to talk about a little bit later on the show too what you got for us yeah more trash talk obviously we we broke we we broke into this uh last super bowl when we had debo samuels join our super bowl set um that went viral uh they're back at it again this is their rematch um and uh there's more trash talk between the niners and the eagles ashley i'm not sure if you've been uh uh I'm, I'm all in. Hopefully the war, the the Niners can help your girl out. You know, as a Cowboys fan, I, I need them to do a little something for me. I'm 0 for 2 right now with uh, betting Debo's against the Eagles. Debo's not helping you, but we will talk. We will discuss this later. Well, we shall see. Listen, diving into some NBA talk right now. Big news in the NBA last night. As I mentioned, the Golden State Warriors were eliminated from the first in-season tournament after a tough loss to the Kings. It was an absolutely phenomenal game. Back and forth, down to the wire. Golden State now has lost eight of their last ten games. And there has been a lot of chatter about a struggling Klay Thompson um, going to the bench. Now, Clay was asked about it recently, and things got a little bit spicy. Go ahead and roll this. Kurt talks a lot about believing in his guys, especially the starting lineup, won championship not too long ago, having patience, letting guys kind of, you know, find their game. How aware are you of that kind of patience, and, or, and in, how much do you, know, do you value it? What do you, you want me to bench me? No, no, no. It's like that's you want bench some... wigs. <laughs> you want I don't think us? I said that. Okay. I mean, you can suggest it. It's fine. But I mean, thanks, Steve. I guess. Like, I don't know. Sometimes you earn these things, like patience and time to find yourself. And I think history will uh, is on our side when it comes to that stuff. You say that? Do you have you heard people say that? Or is, no, is... I don't care what people say. Like, they don't do what we do. They can't do what they do. That's why they talk. Why would I? Like, come on. I don't care what people say at this point in my life. Next question. All right. So a um, little bit of a, a vibe from Clay Thompson there. Now diving into what happened with the Warriors before we dive into this whole conversation. Absolutely just horrible down the clutch. This is everything that went wrong in the last few minutes of the game. They blew a 24-point lead, so they were drastically leading this game. Blew that 24-point lead. Chris Paul and Gary Payton the second both leave with injuries. Uh, two Curry and Draymond turnovers in the final minutes of the game give the Kings life and a chance to ultimately steal the game, which they did. They lose the fourth quarter 29-19. to team like I said they've lost eight of their last 10 games and the biggest question mark for Warriors fans and basketball fans in general was Moody was having an absolutely incredible game and Steve Kerr's decision to go away from him while he was on an absolute heater bring in Wiggins and not bench Clay Thompson um 
a lot of people were questioning that decision just in itself. Steve Kerr, who obviously has won multiple championships with the Golden State Warriors and has been in the game as a player, as a coach for a very long time, a lot of people were wondering why he would make that decision when Moody was absolutely balling out. So, Antoine, I'll start with you. Let's talk about the Steve Kerr decision before we dive into all of the things going wrong with the Golden State Warriors right now. Explain it. Why bench Moody? Absolute heater. That's not the guy you want to put on the bench. Well, I, I'm actually surprised because, you know, it's so early in the season. And, I mean, obviously you don't want to kill a guy's confidence, but you're talking about, a you know, a guy who's a, obviously a – perennial all-star, um, the guy who's established in this league. So you don't have to worry about those guys having a bad night. Um, so you, you would think Steve wouldn't have any problem and Clay would understand that he didn't have if he, he didn't have it going. Um, it's a tough thing. I think, you know, I think with, with Golden State right now, they, they don't have any identity. It's different now um, for these guys. They're, they don't have the same role players that they used to have in, in you know, and teams still get up for them. You still got big name guys. You know, you know, Curry and, and Thompson and, and, and Draymond. Teams still get up for them, and they have to understand that you know they're going to get every team's best punch, and that's what they're getting right now. So they got to adjust their game. They got to figure it out. I think Steve is still trying to figure out who's going to be the role guys to put around those guys to to contribute. Um, they have figured that out in the past where they've got great contribution from different guys on the bench. And they got to get back to that. And I think until they do that, they, they're going to continue to struggle. But you don't think that there's any cause for concern? At, I mean, eight of the last ten games is not great. But also, I mean, in that final four minutes of the game, Moody is, has the hot hand. To bring in Wiggins and to bench Moody, but then also Klay Thompson has not looked like Klay Thompson. You you know, there are politics that go on in locker rooms and, and coaching decisions sometimes. Are you surprised that as seasoned as Steve Kerr is, you make that call when the game is on the line? Yeah, but I think one thing you got to understand is that those guys have a, a certain type of relationship and he's going to, you know, win or lose with those guys, whether they're playing bad or they're playing good. And that's just out of pure respect. That's out of what they've been yeah. able to accomplish yeah. over the last uh. 10 years. And I think he's going to let those guys – he's going to let this end on their own. Uh, I yeah, think but, it's, it, but, he's not going to, like – he's not going to change up game by game. Is, is, this where where loyalty, is this where loyalty goes wrong, though? Have you have – you, what other situation have we seen um, in, the, in the past where – you have one of those guys, like a, a pillar of your franchise, one of the faces of your franchise for a long time, a part of a dynasty, if we're, if this is a dynasty, where they're not playing well, they're aging, and then you say, you know what, now it's time to sit on the bench, right? Like, is this loyalty going wrong? Absolutely. It's too early to tell. I, I, it's too early to tell. We have to see more games and more situations, but when you start to lose 8 out of 10, yeah. um, the reason why you try to draft well and develop well is to be able to incorporate these young guys into the rotation. Um, and it's the private talk. I think they've been around each other long enough where yeah. you can have those talks. So if that's taking Steve Kerr going into a room with Clay and Steph and Draymond and say, hey, look, we got to incorporate these young guys into the rotation. We got to lean on them a lot right. more. You guys are getting a little older. Um, I think that's the conversation and respect they should have for each other. Yeah. Instead of doing it in this type of manner where, where it looks bad. Yeah. They have to answer these it, questions at the I, podium. Like, I completely – it's loyalty gone wrong to me. It, it, it's – the game is on the line. You have the chance to – at this point, though, you know, four minutes left into the game, you had a chance to even enter the end season tournament. They needed to win by 12 or more to enter the Warriors, that is. So there was plenty of time to make that happen. You can see in the speed in which they were playing. The Warriors already – Seth Curry already runs a mile a minute when he's playing, but they obviously were trying to push that pace even more to make – at that point differential but for me this is exactly where loyalty goes wrong i don't know who you put on the bench in that matter but it shouldn't have been moody he was Nemesis, and I was going to end up getting angry after deciding to walk away. 
I know you'd like to be on top then. Hey! Don't tell me of a good time. Don't tell me of a good time, Tom. I was fucked. God knows what I was doing. I'd hate to look at what my record is on the 